across the room. Come here. Come here. Ouch. Painful. All right, Doki, how are you? Yeah, delete, please. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, Doki, Doki. Yes, please. All right, let's let's get this get this coat on a little bit. Let's make it go away. There we go. And then. Gotta close out a couple windows. Ah, the Doki. Alright, let's get this maximized for the best quality. Okay. Uh, I have a feeling it's probably. Actually, this will help. I'm gonna turn the game volume down a bit. Just uh, a bit more, maybe. Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> let's let's call that good. All right. So I'm gonna do another another run of the Dokies. Uh, last time I played, um, it was I did Yuri's route. I guess that's what I should call it. Um, this time, I'm intending on going after, uh, hmm, let me think. I think I'm gonna go after Natsuki, or that or Monica. We're gonna name ourselves Monica, though, for funsies. Because there's only one guy. Hey! So... I played this game with my friend Alex, um, <laughs> and I think I broke him by accident. <coughs> well, not really by accident, more like on purpose. Uh, he had no idea what this game was, uh, which is the best way to play this game. Um, and so he was he was crushing hard on Yuri, and then <laughs> and then uh, Sayonara. Speaking of, huh, huh, I overslept again. Like hi you this time. Uh, same Monica is funny though. <laughs> Maybe. Oh, I should name myself Squid instead. Eee. Um, but anyway, I did all the voices when he was, uh, when he was playing, which is rather amusing because I did, like, sorry, like, a normal voice, I guess, you know? My voice for her was, um, yeah, this, this. Eee -hee -hee. That, that voice. By the way, Monica. Like that and stuff like that. <clears throat> By the way, <laughs> have you decided on a club to join yet? Um, and then uh, I'll just do. Uh, if you didn't watch it, I'll just do Yuri's voice um, when when we meet her for the first time, and I'll do. Uh, I'll just do the same voices real quick, um, but I probably will change them, <laughs> change them myself, or I just won't narrate the whole time because it does make it take a little, make it take a little while. Um, Wait, what? With the anime club? Hello? Say all right? Oh, all oh, right. Sorry. I was confused from over there. Eh, Mooney. All right, come on. Come on, VP. I just, I just want to get, I just want to get to your friends. Cupcakes. Everyone, the new member is here. I told you, don't call me a new mem. Eh? Welcome to the literature club. It's a pleasure to meeting you. Sayuri says nice things about you. Seriously, you brought a boy. Way to kill the atmosphere. Ah, Monica, what a nice surprise. Welcome to the club. <laughs> so, um, my voice for Natsuki is one that makes sense. Um, you know, basically you just had to put one of your arms akimbo and then channel your inner, your inner Sundari. Almost as an inner Dairy. Your inner Sundari. 
for Nosuke, you just, or not for Nosuke, for Yuri, you just pretend to be Hercule from uh, Dragon Ball Z. Nosuke! And uh, for Sayori, you just have to remember her, her eh hey hey, but you have to say it all cute, so you're like, ee hee hee. And you have to kind of put your voice up a little bit like this, a little bit, a little bit of rasp, but not too much. Um, it sounds like you already know Monica, is that right? That's right, because I'm you, just Monica. <laughs> um, you, you too, Monica. <laughs> the style. Come sit down next. Come sit down, Monica. We made room for you at the table, so you can sit next to me or Monica. I'll get the cupcakes. Hey, I made them. I'll get them. Sorry, I got a little too excited. Then how about I make some tea as well? It is really amusing uh, to do that, though. <laughs> especially, especially uh, Yuri's voice. When I was doing it, uh, and I had my friend play, it was very amusing to me because <laughs> he was he was crushing hard on Yuri, because um, he's you know she's totally his type and everything, um, which I understand. Yuri is is pretty high on the best girl chart here, um, <laughs> but so it was really annoying him whenever I do her voice. As Hercule, the Kung Fu champion of the world, or not Kung Fu, martial arts, martial arts. And for Hercule, you kind of just do like a weird southernish accent almost, but you morph it into this weird, bizarre thing. So sometimes you just accidentally swap into a, into a southern accent a little bit, but yeah. Okay. So I know that um, I know that the dialogue isn't really going to differ that much in this first part, as far as I'm concerned. Um, like unless Monica actually does something random, because I named myself Monica instead of Doki Master this time. Um, but yeah, I wonder if she'll say anything different when uh, when we get to the part at the end. I do really enjoy this music. Yeah. <laughs> it's really weird to see the Monica thing not change when I'm talking. Uh, it's probably good for me to not uh, try to do the voices, at least not for Monica, because it'd be different. Will, uh, manga. Oh, wait, that's my voice. Whoops. Because Yuri's on the page. Not, not much of a reader, I guess. Well, let's see. My favorites are usually novels that go deep in complex fantasy worlds. Level of creativity and craftsmanship find them as amazing to me. And telling a good story in such a far word is equally impressive. She's so passionate. She's so passionate about it, just like she is about her martial arts. Bum, bum, bam, bum, bum, bam, bam. Um, but yeah, so if you, just saying, um, for anyone watching, if you haven't played this game yet, you should not be watching this. Unless you want spoilers. Um, because this is a game that's best played unspoiled. Uh, also, my volume's a little loud. Actually, when I turn it up and down on my computer, does that affect the stream's audio? Sorry, I just... No, I don't think it does. Nope, okay. I can mute my speakers. It doesn't do anything. <clears throat> Sorry, just checking. Um, uh, I had to decide who I'm going for. Because I was initially thinking I'd go for Natsuki this route, but then I thought for a moment, I'd be like, maybe I should do Sawyer. But then I don't get to hear Sawyer's death music if she survives for some reason. Or would someone else die instead of her? I don't know, but uh, I'm gonna go for Natsuki because she is besides Monica, she's my second favorite. Actually, you know, it's really hard to choose. Like Yuri, Yuri is definitely uh, she's up there for me, which is why I went for her route the first time. But then I actually do quite like Monica. You know, despite her evil insanity and all that jazz, I feel like it just makes her even better. 
I know, don't put your dick in crazy, but still. <sighs> with Monica, just be, just be so excellent to hang out with her and just program together. Just sounds nice. But Sari is really cute. I just, I want to know more about Natsuki, is the main thing. And I want to, I want to make her feel good about making cupcakes. Oh, I'm looking forward to how I'm going to express myself too. Okay, let's walk home. Buddy. Bum, 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 bum. Music in this game is so, like, cheerful. It's great. Okay, right, first poem. Um, let's see, Natsuki. See, the problem, for me at least, is that Yuri's words were really easy to pick out, because she used big ones. Um, I had to think about their writing styles for a minute. Because, like, both Natsuki and Sayori like cute things, as far as I know. Uh... Let's see, maybe something to do with manga. I don't know. Lollipop. Uh, let's go with... Let's go with lollipop, maybe? Okay, one for one. Um, uh, bubbles? Yeah, okay. Lollipop and bubbles. Uh, twirl. Oh, yeah, okay. Lollipop, bubbles, twirl... Fantasy, because she likes manga. Yeah, okay. Um, anime? Yeah! Good. Got all of them so far. Um, how about a uh, bunny? No. Animals? Wait. No, Nazis don't. She writes simple poems in their animals, so I'm gonna do bunny. Yep. Um, flower? I feel like that's gonna be a story word, though. Uh, let's go for, yeah, flower, sorry. All right, so that's negative one on me. Um, party? Damn it. <laughs> um, candy. Okay, there you go. Uh, Papa. <laughs> I'm pretty sure, from what I remember, from like some, like one of the secret letters or something, I think Natsuki has daddy issues of some kind. I'm not entirely sure which ones they are. Like, what the daddy issues, I feel like it involves rape. But I'm not entirely sure um so i feel like papa would be a bad word but it's also related to her so yep uh doki dokies yep um jumpy yeah um play no no um hope maybe or swimsuit or daydream daydream no Mouse or kitty? Uh, kitty. Uh, uh, rainbow. Damn it. Dazzle. Nope. Oh, cute. Okay. There you go. Cute. Uh, boop. And pink. Okay. So I got six against not her. So hopefully that'll be okay. Oops. Sorry. My ear itches. <laughs> Thanks for keeping your promise, Monica. Hmm. <laughs> Manga is literature. I agree. Okay. I'm gonna see. Normally, this is the part where I hang out with with Yuri, um, and this time, hopefully, I hang out with Natsuki. Oh, okay, maybe not. She brought me a book, so maybe that's normal. Okay. Okay. Is she gonna... Okay, I do like to take the book, but I'm not gonna like it because I'm, I'm being simple this time.
All right. Am I gonna talk to Noski? Yeah. Okay. Okay. So this is new to me. Ugh. An exasperated siphon within the closet. She seems to be annoyed by something. I approach her in case she needs a hand. Hey. Yeah. You looking for something in there? Freaking Monica. She never puts my stuff back in the right spot. What's the point in keeping your collection organized if someone else is going to mess it up? Noski slides a bunch of stacked books and boxes across the shelf. Manga. Manga. You read manga, right? Uh, sometimes. Manga is one of those things where you can't admit you're really into it until you figure out where the others is at. You know, they're not wrong. I mean, you know, over, over, over life as you grew up, you become more happy and fine with admitting that you like strange things, but it is one of those things. How do you know, anyway? I heard you bring it up at some point. Besides, it's kind of written on your face. <laughs> oh no, it's on my face. I, I see. A lone volume of manga amidst a stack of various books on the side of one of the shelves. Also, I always, uh, I grew up saying manga because I'm a horrible English person. Um, but I know that it is pronounced to me manga, but habits are habits. So I might alternate between saying each one. Curious, pull it out. There it is. Nuski snatches it out of my hand, then turns into a box and slips the volume right into the middle. Ah, uh, much better. Look how happy she is. Seeing a box set with one book missing is probably the most irritating sound in the world. Okay, she has autism or OCD, OCD at least. Oh, I know that feel. Get a closer look at box that she's mining. What is it? Parfait girls. Alright. Uh, I imagine that that's something similar to, um, not Ichigo, um, something else. Um, shoot, I'm blanking on it. It's, there are four girls. Um, sorry, I'm just, I'm just scrolling through. Um, Tokyo Mew Mew. That's, oh uh, no, maybe it would, would be more like it should go. Probably needs to see that. Way out of my demographic or it's simply terrible. Wow, I am totally judgmental. You already judged you could do it through the glass on that door. She points to the glass door. Hey, I wasn't judging you. Either. You didn't say anything. It was the tone of your voice. Wait, I didn't speak. I'll tell you one thing, Monica. If you're seeing this lesson straight from the Ledger Club, don't judge a book by its cover. In fact, all right. I'm going to show you exactly why. Uh, it features four girls in colorful attire striking animated feminine poses. Okay, hold on. Let me think. What would that What would that look like? What would that look like? Um, I'm just I'm just seeing if I have a a picture that might be similar to this in uh, handy. Any close by? Uh, I'm mainly looking for like my Yuki Yuna screenshots. <laughs> oh, here's oh, that's okay. Oh no, it's exceedingly moe. <laughs> Don't just stand there. Uba. <laughs> she pulls me out of the closet. Oh shit. Takes <laughs> a seat against the wall beneath the window cell. Pass on the ground so you sit there. You know, I like how forward Natsuki is. This is good. Wouldn't chairs be more comfortable? No, fuck that. Chairs wouldn't work. We can't read at the same time like that. Wow, Natsuki is. Guess it's easy to be close together like this. Grr! <laughs> D don't just say that. It makes me feel weird about it. Aw. <laughs> oh, man, I am not smooth. I am not a smooth operator here. Sorry. Uh, <laughs> um, didn't exactly expect to be sitting close to her. Come on, she made cupcakes. No, damn straight, it's not a bad thing. All right. Aw, she's, she's scooting back over. Oh wait, sorry. Uh, before I keep going, I just realized that on Twitch, uh, I'm pretty sure it says that I'm streaming near Automata, which while that is my usual game that I've been streaming, yeah, that's what it says. Um, <laughs> I need to 
I need to change that. Um, doki doki. Literature club. Not skis route. Okay, there we go. It is now updated. Uh, I don't really know the matters. I mean, according to Twitch, it says that I'm still playing. Still playing near. That's weird. Maybe it's just slow to update, but I hope it does update. Otherwise, uh, it will look like I'm playing near. <clears throat> anyway, we'll go back and flip through the older volumes right now. Not really. Oh, I think I missed. I missed whatever the start of that conversation was. How long has it been since I read the beginning? Oh, it's not ski. Okay. Okay. Not really. Maybe sometimes after I've read, already finished the series. Hey, are you paying attention? Uh, I know that feeling when you're trying to show someone something and they just keep talking. And you're just like, no, no, I, you, you, need to, you need to pay attention to this. This part right here is really good. And then they just talk. And you sit there and like you're just like, I want you to enjoy it as much as I do, but I don't want to tell you everything. Oh, it's the worst. Yeah, but nothing's really happened yet. So I can talk at the same time. It's like it's, it looks like it's a bunch, a bunch of friends in high school. Typical slice of life. Oh no, I grew out of those. Lies. There are a lot of entertaining slice of life shows. There's like three airing this season. There's uh there's Mitsubishi Colors, which started today, which is pretty good. Um, definitely enjoyed the first episode of that. There's Your Camp, Adorable Girls Camping. That's fantastic. Um, I feel like there's other ones. Slow Start, super cute. And actually, one of the girls in it looks like Monica a little bit. What should I expect from this? Is there going to be a plot? Well, obviously. You think I would enjoy something that didn't have a plot? I mean, well, I guess I know what you're saying. A lot of the beginning is about simple things. Like there's a really funny chapter when they're obsessed with a guy at the ice cream shop. But this helps you get to know the characters. And besides, it's still entertaining. But later on, there's all kinds of drama. Like when they get into all their backstories, when some of the romance starts to happen. That's really what makes it so good. There's so many touching parts. Ah, is that so? It sounds like you really know what you're talking about. Maybe I underestimated you. Eehehe. <laughs> oh wait, sorry, that's my Sayori eehehe. <laughs> I don't know how, I don't know how to do an e he he like not Sayori style. Hey, wait, what is what's that supposed to mean? Ugh. I say uwa a lot more now that I'm going after Natsuki. Gives you a little shove. It's meant that I haven't seen you get your full power. It's not even her final form. <laughs> Good save. Uh, this chapter seems like it's about baking. Yes, but there's a lot of baking in this manga. It's called Parfait Girls. What do you think? Oh, she doesn't want to admit something. It's actually a... Sorry, I'm not going to say that. <laughs> Sorry, I almost just made a really bad joke. <clears throat> About a certain event involving baking. Yeah. Why does that matter? It doesn't. It's just curious. Since you enjoy baking too, right? Uh, this is probably how Natsuki got into baking, I bet. <laughs> Just a coincidence. Just happened to get into Baking around at the same time I got into this manga. Yeah. Yeah, okay. That face says liar. Like I would ever get into <laughs> because it's in the manga. You know what? That is okay. That is an okay way to discover things, I think. Um, let me think. I'm pretty sure that I've definitely done that before. Um, I just have to think about what. Ah, oh, man. I'm like, I'm like peering over at my, uh, my bookshelf trying to spot a couple of my manga. I mean, I read, I watched Dot X Sign before I picked up like more of the Dot Hype manga, so that one doesn't really count. Hmm. I don't know. Anyway, but I'm pretty sure at least there's at least been one or two animes. Some that have probably got me into something I wouldn't have otherwise. <clears throat> Excuse me. Too bad for anyone that impressionable. Well, sorry, Nowski. Definitely not a coincidence. Still, of all the hobbies to pick up from Manga, that's definitely one of the better ones. That's true. She could have just become a straight up lolicon. She's good at it too. Oh, oh, she's cute. Holy crap, look at that. 
Look at that cute. Couple chapters. Wow, only a couple chapters? Are you sure this isn't boring for you? It's not. You know, you're just watching me read. Well, I'm fine with that. If you say so. I guess fun sharing. It's fun sharing something you like with someone else. I was get excited when I convinced any of my friends to pick up a series and enjoy. Yep. You know what I mean? That's true. This, uh, when I went home, uh, when I went home for the holiday, for Christmas and everything, I was like the harbinger of anime. Because I brought my hard drive with a bunch of anime on it and then was going around to all my friends and be like, I've got to give you this and this and this and got to give you this and this. It's good. Uh, yep, like Made in Abyss. Got to give that one out to lots of people. And also gave out Aho Girl. <laughs> hmm? You don't? Um, aww. Okay, Nowski's really cute close up. That's not... Well, I wouldn't know. What do you mean? Don't you share your manga with your friends? Could you not rub it in? Jeez. Nowski doesn't have many friends. She should watch Haganoi. <laughs> I could uh, get her at my friends to read this. They just think manga is for kids. Well, Natsuki, you kind of look like a kid, so... I'll be like, eh, you still haven't grown out of that yet. You know what? Totally on board with you, Natsuki. Totally on board. As someone who watches anime and reads a lot of manga, totally understand this, this conversation. They just want to punch him in the face. Mmm. I don't... I don't know if I'd go that far. Only some of them. <laughs> I know those kinds of people. Honestly, it takes a lot of effort to find friends who don't judge. Most of those friends who are also into it. That is very true. Uh, I think I can count on one hand the number of my friends who reside in my immediate area that watch manga. I'm oh, sorry, watch anime or read manga at all. I think there's like two. No, no, wait, there's like three. There's like three. And that's it. I had to, I had to go home, which is like a three-hour drive. Or so, and hang out with childhood friends to actually find people who actually enjoy the things I enjoy. <sighs> Just a lot of effort to find friends. Yep. I'm already kind of a loser, so I guess I gravitated towards the other losers over time. Yeah, well, that's harder to do when you're not in school anymore. Harder for someone like you. What? I'm just really rubbing it in there. Look at that. Look at that. She's just aghast. Hmm. Yeah, that's pretty accurate. Oh. Wow. <laughs> I feel like I can't keep it in my own room. You know what my dad would do if he found this. Uh, your your dad doesn't like good stuff? Oh, okay, that explains why she keeps it here. Except Monica was kind of a jerk about it. Well, Monica should get the fuck over it because she is an anime character, essentially. Just can't win. Well, it paid off again, didn't it? I mean, here I am, reading it. Well, it's not like that solves any of my problems. Maybe. But at least you're enjoying yourself, right? Eh, dot dot dot. So, <laughs> no, <laughs> it's enough. Uh, I don't know what that's enough is in Japanese. Hmm. You gonna keep reading or what? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Flip the page. Suddenly, Nowski starts laughing. <laughs> oh, look at that! Look at that smile. Totally forgot that happens. Natsuki puts her finger on one of the panels. Minori is my favorite character. Sorry, it's not Minori, it's Minori. Minori is my favorite character. You always feel a little bad for her since she's so unlucky. But it's especially bad when... Oh no! Don't spoil it, Natsuki. Holy shit. That's right. Can't be talking about that yet. But finish this chapter. Uh, you know, um, I'm thinking back to my other... When I did the Yuri route, I like Yuri a lot, but I don't really care for horror, so her book tastes and mine wouldn't really coincide together. Nowski, on the other hand, a, there's a connection going on here. Stark contrast her usual bossy tone. But she's not used to sharing her favorite manga with her friends. I can understand why. It's hard to express the words and feelings you get when connecting with someone like that. That is true. Actually, uh, when I visited my friend in Michigan. Him and uh, another friend. It's the first time anyone has ever asked me why I like anime. 
and it took me like hours to explain why. But it was a good conversation. <laughs> you know, got to learn stuff about the other people, they got to learn stuff about me, it's all good, making friends. Granted, they're very far away from me, but still, making friends. Are you all ready with today's poem? Hell yeah. Oh, come on. Could your timing be any worse? <laughs> Just need to make sure we have enough time. Though you do look pretty cozy over there. Yeah, I do. Eh. Ah, ah. Now see, Sally knows how close she's gotten to me. Hastily slides herself a good 12 inches away. You could have just said a foot. Alright. Guess I'll stop here for now. Close the book and towards Natsuki. You're just giving it back? Oh, I know that feeling. Oh, like you were just sharing something with someone and you really wanted them to like borrow it and stuff. And you were even like, you had already resigned, like in your heart, you didn't want to let it go. But at the same time, you wanted them to experience, so you're like, I can let them borrow it. It's okay. They can borrow it. It'll be gone for a little while, but they can borrow it. And then they just give it back. Don't you want to know what happens? Yeah, but Monica just said, don't be dumb. <laughs> just take it home with you. Eh? Is that really all right? <clears throat> oh, I forgot how much of a dick my character is. Well, of course. It would take forever to finish if you didn't take it home. No, it wouldn't. It takes so little time to read an entire manga. When I, uh, <clears throat> when I fly, like when I go and visit Michigan or visit my sister or things like that and have to fly places, I always bring a book along because I read on the airplane or in the airport. And uh, last time when I was flying back home from Michigan, um, I ran out of things. Oh no, sorry, from Georgia. Yeah, from, from Georgia. Um, I had picked up some manga, so I had three, three of them to read, and then picked up the third volume of one of them while I was in the airport, which was a good find. Um, but then I finished them all, and it wasn't that long of a flight back. So, just finish that one before tomorrow, so we just set the next one. If it gets spin, I'll kill you. <laughs> I know that feeling. By tomorrow? Okay, how slow does my character read? It is. It's a necessary sacrifice. <laughs> what would happen if I don't finish it? Would Nazi beat me up? Alright then. Stand up. I don't know where I put myself. Okay, I slip back. By the way, did you remember to write a poem last night? I did. I made it happily and bubbly and joyly. My relaxation ends. Fear goes through my heart. Can't really find much inspiration. <laughs> I can't wait. Okay. Um, I don't know if this actually matters. It doesn't matter the first time, I don't think. Uh, what do, what do Monica last? Uh, we'll just go Natsuki first. There we go. Alright, how do you like it? Okay, well let's start with the things I don't like. <laughs> oh shit. First of all, um, she reads it again. Never mind. <laughs> so she liked that all of them? Okay. Uh, in fact, remember how I said I wanted to read your poems? That's what I had in mind when writing this. I wanted to help you feel comfortable enough to share yours. Like Monica said. Uh, well, I would be more comfortable sharing my poem if yours was really bad. You were supposed to show me some dumb poem and make me go, huh, well it's not that great, but let me show you what real literature looks like. You kind of ruined it. I hope you're happy. <laughs> So otherwise, you're saying you like it. <laughs> Urk. <laughs> mm, you're so... You just... You don't understand anything, do you? I already told you that. You don't have to go announcing it to the world like you're all self-important. Pretty sure you never actually said that. Nasty must really hate me or something. Can't figure out if it's a win or loss that she liked my poem. It's a win. In any case, you need to show me yours, right? Mm, fine, I guess. Only because Monica will meet me if I don't. All right, here's a good one. I actually do like Natsuki's poems. Eagles can fly, monkeys can climb, crickets can leap, horses can race, owls can seek, cheetahs can run, eagles can fly, people can try, but that's about it. Uh, the deliberate mess of uh, of the rhyme. It's a good, it's a good one. I like it. 
Yeah. I told you that you weren't going to like it. I like it. What? Just be honest. I am. Why are you so convinced that I don't, that I wouldn't like it? Well, because everyone in high school thinks that writing has to be all sophisticated stuff. So people don't even take my writing seriously. But isn't the point of, peop of poems for people to express themselves? Your writing style would make your messaging a salad. This is the same dialogue as before. Do great things. Okay. The other nice thing about Simpler is it puts more weight on the wordplay. That's true. So you did... I think that uh, like that kind of thing where you mess up the words and stuff like that um, I feel like if you're if you weren't used to it or you haven't seen it before that would catch you off guard and you think like that's a stupid poem because it doesn't rhyme but sometimes you know poems will actually have to rhyme you just have to have good flow and like rhythm to them that's what it means to be a pro I'm glad you learned something yeah guess not Okay, let's see how Yuri reacts to mine, because I feel like she'll be like, this is, this is shit. Hmm. Oh, wait, I should, let me do Hercule's voice for her. <clears throat> Yuri stares at the poem. A minute passes. Uh, oh, wait, no, sorry, that's not me. Um, oh, so, sorry, I forgot to start speaking. Uh, um, it's fine, don't, don't force yourself. I'm not, I just need to put my thoughts into words. Hold on. Okay. This is your first time writing a poem, right? Er, yeah? Why do you ask? I'm just making sure. I guess that it might be after reading through it. Uh, uh, so it's that bad. No, no! Did I just raise my- Did I just raise my voice? Uh, I'm so sorry. I'm not doing Hercule's voice that well anymore. I think I'm just trying to rush it. Here he has her face in her hands. Yep. It's fine. I really didn't notice. What were you saying? Right. Uh. It's just that there are specific writing habits that are usually typical of new writers. And I haven't been through that myself. I kind of learned to pick up on them because I'm a martial arts champion of poetry. I think the most noticeable thing I recognize in new writers is that they try to make their style very deliberate. In other words, they tend to pick a writing style separate from the topic matter and they form fit the two together. The end result is that both the style and expressiveness are weakened. Yada yada, she's a pro. Of course, that's not something you can be blamed for. There are so many different skills and techniques that go into writing even a simple poem. Not just finding them and building them, but getting them to work together is probably the most challenging part. Oh, that just, um, that reminded me what the voice I was doing for Monica was when uh, my friend was playing. I do like a movie theater announcer voice. Uh, which is pretty great. That's, that's one of those things that's pretty amusing to do. Never mind. Shouldn't be talking about people like that. Sorry. <laughs> mind if I read your poem? Please do. Ah, uh, so dreamy. All right. This is the same poem as before. Kind of not surprising. Wait, is this? This is new music. Go soar into the light. The tenders of my hair illuminate beneath the ember glow. Bathing. It must be this one. The last remaining street lights have withstood the test of time. The last yet to be replaced by the sickening blue-green hue of the future. I bathe. Calm. Calm. Breathing air of the present but living in the past. The light flickers. I flicker back. Yeah, I, I remember when I first streamed this. The one part of this poem that I really despise is the sickening blue-green hue. It does not, not flow off the tongue well. And the semicolon always throws me off off of uh, calm. I always think it's like an L or an S or something. I have no idea. Took me a long time to read. That's because I'm a fucking plebe. Are you into ghosts? <laughs> no. <laughs> this thing's not about ghosts at all. I'm just a fucking idiot. I like the flicker back part of the poem, though. Do, do, do. Do, 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 do. But yeah, making my friend play this was fucking hilarious. <laughs> like, oh, I had such a good time. 
that it is very hard to hold yourself back um, from like laughing things and like something else that I kept doing is uh, I kept slipping in just Monica like like the like within a sentence and stuff like that working ways in to say just Monica in, it, in the hopes that later on when he just has to choose just Monica like it would, it would hit his head and trigger it and make him realize I was doing it the whole time unfortunately he didn't get that far because after Sayori died um, <laughs> he was not not happy about that at all so uh, oops, oops, sorry, speaking of that friend, he just messaged me on Steam, uh, so sorry. I'm just gonna respond to him. Um, I think we didn't write one at all. Uh, sorry, what was I saying? Oh, right, he didn't get, so Sayuri died, and then, uh, I had him play a little bit more, and he got to the part, I think he um, I can't remember if he got to the first time that that Yuri cuts herself or not. I think he might have stopped after like you go like sorry has gone. Monica brings you into the club and stuff, and then like weird shit happens and like twitches. I think he got to the closet part where you go and you hang out with Yuri, and like she has that insane look on her face. I think that's where he called it quits. It had been like five hours, and he was emotionally wrecked. Some people might call me a terrible friend for inflicting such emotional damage on one of my one of my childhood friends who's literally known me my entire life. Uh, but I just call it fun. <laughs> Dear Sunshine, the way you glow through my blinds in the morning, it makes me feel like you missed me. Kissing my forehead to help me out of bed, make me rub the sleep from my eyes. Are you asking me to come out and play? Are you trusting me to wish away a rainy day? I look above. The sky is blue. It's a secret, but I trust you too. If it wasn't for you, I could sleep forever. But I'm not mad. I want breakfast. <laughs> uh oh, oh Sayori. Uh, she's so adorable. Such an adorable little depressed girl. Don't be mean. Hidoi. Hidoi yo. Dun 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 dun. Especially that last time. Makes eggs and toast! Uh, sorry. <laughs> Went a little bit gone there for a moment there. Eggs. Made eggs and toasts. Precious. Hee hee hee. I feel like the music is different. Like, not this music, but during the poems, Yuri's was definitely different than what I remember. Alright, let's show Monica my poem. Hey there, Monica. Hi, Monica. Having a good time? Yeah. I am. Oh, yeah. So, the voice that I was giving Monica before, when I would, could remember when I was playing was, By the... Oh, wait, no. I think I only did it during the poem. Uh, yeah. So, here, Monica, show me that, show me that poem. I do want a shirt. Excuse me. So like to to get into the voice for for the narrator, you gotta think about like the like the opening start to the trailer kind of thing. Of like next summer. Come on. I know Monica. Do 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 That's okay. I wonder what happened if I saved Sayuri's save data, like the actual file, and then when she died, replaced that dead data with the fix with the old Sayuri one. Hmm. I don't know. Hole in the wall, or hole in wall. It couldn't have been me. See, the direction, the spack over- wait, hold on, whoa, 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 wait a minute. This is new. What? What is it? No, no it's not. I don't remember the, sp the direction the spackle protrudes being a line from before. 
I couldn't even me. See the direction the spackle protrudes? A noisy neighbor? An angry boyfriend? I'll never know. I wasn't home. I'm here inside for a clue. No, I can't see. I reel. Blind. Like a film left out in the sun. But it's too late. My retinas. Already scorched with a permanent copy of the meaningless image. It's just a little hole. It wasn't too bright. It was too deep. Stretching forever into everything. A hole of infinite choices. I realize now that I wasn't looking in. I was looking out. And he on the other side was looking in. Okay, so that, that last part is the same as before. But the part with the spackled and the other parts of it, I do not remember that from my previous playthroughs. Does Monica's poems change depending on who you're going after? Huh. I want to learn how to play this on piano. Oh, I could just play it on flute. It's simple enough. It doesn't sound too complicated. Da, 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 da. Yeah, my ear isn't good enough to pick out which notes it is, but it's, I would assume that it might be C. Or G, D, or D. D is a pretty happy key, so I wouldn't be surprised if it was that. If you keep your pen in the same spot for too long, you'll just get a big dark puddle of ink. I love this line. Because when you think about it, right? So, Monica is uh, her name. Ika means squid. And so, like, later on there's a joke on her name about her being a squid, basically. Um, and the funny thing is, is that if you, keep your same, if you keep your pen in the same spot, and by that I mean if you keep going after the same girl every time, you know, like poetry wise, like keeping your pen on the same spot, like same theme and emotion, and you go after the same girl, at the end of it all, you do get a big dark puddle of ink because you get a big dark puddle of squid, of Monica, of just Monica. So I like that. I read into that line a little bit. Thanks for listening. All right. I guess that's everyone. More stressful. This electric glove. I'm waiting. I'm trying to get. I want to see things that are different. Oh, here we go. The first fight. Meanwhile, Yuri smiles sadly. What's with this language? Eh. Uh, do you say something? Oh, it's nothing. I guess you could say it's fancy. Uh, thanks. Yours is, uh, cute. Cute? Did you completely miss the symbolism or something? It's clearly about the feeling of giving up. How can that be cute? I, I know that. I just meant the language, I guess. I was trying to say something nice. Eh? You mean you had to try that hard to come up with something nice to say? Thanks, but it didn't really come out nice at all. Um, well, I do have a couple of suggestions. Hmm. <laughs> if I was looking for suggestions, I would have asked someone who actually liked it. Which people did, by the way. <laughs> that part right there. Uh, just the, the, the ending, by the way, so it kind of reminds me of Trump. <laughs> this is the, this, like his manner of speech. So I really liked it, and Monica did too. So based on that, I'll gladly give you some suggestions of my own. First of all, uh, excuse me. Uh, excuse me. Just appreciate the offer, but I spent a long time, especially my fucking style. Studied for years in the mountain fighting bears. Monica liked my poem too. He wasn't even impressed by it. Nasty stands up, and the first trial of combat begins. Boing, boing. Yeah, that's not what I. Ooh. You, you're just, maybe you're just jealous that Monica appreciates my advice more than he appreciated yours. And how do you know he didn't appreciate my advice more? Are you that full of yourself? Uh, yes. No, she's not. Yuri's pretty kind-hearted. But these two do not get along. At all. It's pretty great. <laughs> well, you know what? I wasn't the one whose boobs magically grew a size bigger as soon as Monica started showing up. <laughs> yeah, that's a little... I don't like fighting. Uh, Alright. This is good, though. Because now I, now I get to find out what happens if I choose Natsuki in this case. Help me explain it. Wait! 
there's a reason we have so many deep expressive words in our language to confuse people with. Uh, well, how did I get dragged into this? Because I read their poems and because I'm the only guy in the room. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, <laughs> Habit there almost made me choose Yuri. Uh, choose Nowski. Um, Yuri, you're really talented. <laughs> but Nowski has a point. I think that I think the conveying feelings of few words can be just as impressive as well. That's the reader imagination. It's over. Yeah. Is this the same? I don't think this is the same music as if I chose Yuri before, is it? The music, the music so far with choosing Nasuki is much more upbeat. Is that I'm just completely misremembering things. But she was so mean. Hidoyo. Look. What well, we talked about yesterday was right. Writing is a really personal thing and sharing it can be definitely be hard. Looks like we learned that today. Even small criticisms can lead to something pretty heated. That's true. As someone who programs for a living and has to review a lot of code and leave notes on people's stuff being like, hey, change this. Uh, uh, you would not imagine the stupid, stupid arguments I get into sometimes. You get into some really dumb arguments. Tabs for spaces. Luckily, we have a company-wide policy on that one, so that one's easy to get over. Mm -hmm. Thanks for noticing. She finally noticed that. Yuri. Oh. Hey, it's not like you need to apologize for me, Malika. Sheesh. Nasuki takes a breath. Think about... Mm, what everyone stops staring at. Nasuki wants to apologize about insulting your breasts. Please. Anyway, the thing about your boobs, I didn't mean it, okay? <laughs> Aw. This is a much nicer resolution to the conflict than when I chose Yuri. That's all. Yeah, you're naturally beautiful, Yuri. Aww. Sorry. I I'll go make some tea. Eh? I was just trying to help. <laughs> I'm sure she appreciated it, Sayuri. Pat on the shoulder. Excuse me, Sayuri's shoulder is not for patting. Only Sayuri's head is for patting. Well, now that we're past that, everyone reads his poems, right? Hope that was worthwhile. Especially you. And to be honest, it's a nice change of pace from the lazing around. Yep. Now we all get to die. <clears throat> so my joining code is responsible for ruining the atmosphere. True. Very true. Let's all relax. Pick up a book or do some writing. I disagree. <laughs> oh no, the VP is getting all, all up in the prison shit. That's not the most important thing about the Ledger Club. Is it the people? Oh, uh, it's having fun. Oh, Sayori. That's why you're the vice president. It's true that. <laughs> In the end, though, Monica's right. That means we have to actually read books. All right. So do I get to read? Oh no. Uh, yeah, we have to leave now. How did we feel about sharing poems? Uh, it was all right. Oh look, now and I are on the same page on that. It was all right. Monica, how about you? Yeah, I'd say the same. That was a neat thing to talk about with everyone. Awesome. In that case, we'll do the same thing tomorrow. And maybe you learn something about your friends too. So your poems will turn out even better. Uh, did I learn about something? No. Monica, ready to walk home? Sure, let's go. <laughs> oh, this is such, such happy music. Sorry, about what happened earlier. Eh, what do you mean? You know, between Yuri and Natsuki. Does that kind of thing happen often? No, 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 no. That's really the first time I've seen them fight. I promise, they're both wonderful people who just don't get along. Do, 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 phew. You know, Monica, it's nice that I get to spend time with you in the club. Doom, do, 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 I see, seeing you make friends, it's good too. It means that I can die in peace. Ba, 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 da, da. Does it really need to stop there? I don't think so. I think that we need to become even better friends. All right, poem time. Uh, so now we know what kind of manga Natsuki likes. So I think as far as words for her go, let's go up here. Yep. 
Parfait, obviously. Um, bouncy. Kitty. Strawberry. Yeah. Um, probably shiny. Yep. Fua Fua. Uh, flower. Oh shit, nope. Alright. My bad. Um, ribbon, probably? Mm, yep, ribbon. Kawaii. I never understand why people say kawaii. Like, I guess it's like saying manga, right? But like, if you know anything about oh yeah yeah that's, that's just being a dick um <laughs> anyway like it must be the same thing as manga or it is manga but people say manga but kawaii kawaii i guess it's because you're pronouncing w-a-i and ignoring the the other one this is kawaii anyway <clears throat> excuse me um skirt i'm gonna guess that skirt would be noski or puppy. We'll go puppy safer. Um, family might be here. Nope. Family, sorry. Okay. Uh, Doki Doki. Hell yeah. Um, vanilla. Yep. Mouse. Sweet. Oh, whoops. Okay. Uh, lollipop. Whoop. Pink. Um, oh, there's anime. There you go. Only three. Only three that time went to the wrong person. All right. Time for a club meeting. Bum, 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 bum. I wonder if, uh, was anyone ever in any clubs when they were in high school? I was in a club. A singular, singular club. Um, actually, no, I guess I went... In my freshman year of high school, I went to a couple uh, flossy club meetings. Wasn't super into it, but I had a lot of friends who I looked up to that were in it, so I went a couple times. Uh, as you may have surmised, uh, if you know anything about philosophy majors in college and stuff, uh, in high school, it's pretty much the same, where you just do nothing. And you talk about random shit. So, that's, that's philosophy in a nutshell. Yo, Sayuri. Looks like you're in a good mood today. <laughs> I'm just not, I'm just still not used to you being in the club, that's all. I see. That's a pretty simple thing to get you in a good mood. I guess it's always the simple things with you anyway. Speaking of which, I'm kind of hungry. Will you come with me buy a snack? No thanks. Eh? That, that's not like you at all. I have my reasons. Why don't we take a look at your purse? Sorry. Eh, eh, why that? All of a sudden. No reason, really. I just wanted to look at it. Ah. <laughs> she fumbles with it. Then she turns the sound, lets two tiny coins fall out. <laughs> I knew it. I can see right through you, sorry. That's a little fair. How did you even know? It's simple. My dear Watson, it's simple. If you had enough money in the first place, you would have bought a snack before coming to the club room. So that you're not hungry and want an excuse to take a walk. Or you'll plan to conveniently forget that you spent all your money so that I would lend you some. But there's one more thing. You're always hungry. And so that leaves only one option. Ooh, <laughs> I give up. Don't make me feel guilty. If you feel guilty, that means you deserve to feel guilty. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, it cracks me up to make her do like a super manly voice. Yuri. Tell Monica to let me borrow some money. That's... Don't get me involved like that, sorry. Besides, you should only buy what you can responsibly afford. And frankly, after pulling a mischievous little stunt like that, your suffering is fair enough retribution. Rude. So intense. So much suffering. She's really into that book about people's limbs getting cut off. That's why she's so intense about the suffering. I bet you Yuri would watch Monica and Yuki Yuna and laugh at all the tragic parts. Speaking of, uh, Yuki Yuna ended... Uh, this past week, I think it was. And the last episode was fantastic. Uh, like, super good. The whole second season was really good. Like, the first season was was decent, you know? Um, 
but I don't really remember it that well. I remember a couple things, but... Yeah, I, I remember a couple things, but for the most part, it's been such a long time that I, since I watched the first season of Yuki, you know, I kind of forgot about most of it, which why I was really good at the, at the in the second season, they kind of had a recap, which really helped me remember everything, which was good. Um, but then, holy crap. I mean, the, the second season was divided, so it was kind of like there were three seasons almost, where the first six episodes covered what was in the movies, which I had never seen. So all the stuff with Washi, Sonoko, and Gein was new to me, and holy crap that was so good um like you have no idea so good you gotta watch it if you're into that kind of uh if you're into the anime genre of uh suffering magical girl i guess that's what i'll call it um but holy crap it's good the feels especially with sonoko and gein gein was definitely favorite easily easily my favorite then and then sonoko and then Washi, but like they're all so close that calling one one my favorite is not even fair. Crap. Yeah. Oh, what was it? A cookie. Sure enough, giant cookie wrapped in plastic. It's a miracle. It's because I paid my restitution. <laughs> Retribution. Actually, that one almost worked. Ah ha ha. I was just gonna give it to you, but then I heard you blab about the cupcakes. So it's totally worth seeing your reaction though. That's <laughs> So nice of you. She's so happy. She just got smacked in the face by a cup by a cookie. Ah, uh, so good. So good. Mm. Oh, actually. Oh no. I put it downstairs. I actually have a cookie. I could have like eaten the cookie and said her lines. I bit my tongue. <laughs> You're going through a lot over just one cookie. Yours looks really good too. Can I try it? Beggars can't be choosers. But yours is chocolate. Yeah, why do you think I gave you that one? Did she give her, like, vanilla or something? Uh-oh. Aw, oh, love. So much love. Um. <laughs> uh, if this was an anime, I would totally watch it. Uh, I wonder if anyone's actually animated this. I mean, it's not like the resources aren't there for them to do it. Mm-hmm. Jeez, you're such a kid sometimes. Eh? Also, now that I think about it, um, uh, sorry, I just have to remember. Local disk, program, Steam, app cache? No. User data. Nope. Um, sorry, I'm just. I'm just thinking. Uh, I'd probably have to. Sorry, I just wanted to go see if like the the pictures of them were in there because I could throw them into Blender and Unity, and get them up into VR Chat. <laughs> just the two Ds. The rigging that might be kind of interesting. But still. Do, 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 do. Hmm. Been unusual. Hope she's okay. Yeah, she's just learning to program to screw you guys up. That's all. She has a ugh, a boyfriend. Sorry, super sorry. Didn't mean to be late. You're so strong-willed. Oh, sorry. That reminds me. She said the word club in that writing where I was actually talking about things before I shit all of her philosophy majors. Um, the actual club that I was thinking of when I was thinking about high school clubs was that I was in a DDR club. Some dance dance revolution. Because I had a really cool Spanish teacher who was willing to be the uh, uh, advisor role, I guess, for that. Which was basically us playing, like, hanging out in his room after school playing games. And it was fantastic. He was actually really good at, uh, really good at DDR. He was also really good at, like, a lot of things. Uh, but one thing that I remember the most is that he used to rent out the, uh, the, the video player thing. Because there were a few of them that you could get and you'd have to, like, rent them out from the library so you could show a class movie. And he would just keep it in his room. Because he'd be like, oh, you know, we're watching this movie in Spanish. We watched, like, Pan's Labyrinth. And, um, um, what's the other one? Uh, there's, like, Ghosts. They're like in like an orphanage almost. 
Uh, it's another one by the same guy who did Pan's Labyrinth. But I can't remember this name. Um, but anyway, it's like a it's like a haunted thing or something like that. And there's a pool of water. Some creepy shit goes down. Um, yeah, I, I don't remember. Um, but anyway, so he keeps the thing in the, in his room with the VR, the um, the video player, the VCR. That's the one word I'm looking for for the VCR. And then he played Final Fantasy XII. <laughs> and so we'd have tests, and he'd be playing Final Fantasy XII. Uh, and he'd like pause it halfway through because he was, he did uh, like one of those boss levels that took like six hours, and so he'd play it during the downtime and stuff. Uh, it's good. I miss that guy. Every now and then when I go home, if I can, I, I try to find him. He does. He hosts trivia night at a at a bar, or at least he used to. I haven't seen him in a long time. <clears throat> anyway, back to reality. All right, new stuff. Natsuki. Dot, dot, dot. It's not long before Natsuki comes up to me expectantly. Yeah, she's wondering if I read my damn book. Yeah, yeah, don't worry. I kept my promise. The first volume Parfait Girls on my bag. Oh no, I'm out of drink. Shit. Natsuki takes from my hand and quickly turns it over, presumably to check for wrinkles. I'm not that careless. Handle manga all the time, you know? I just wanted to make sure. Can you blame me for being paranoid? I don't give people my manga every day, you know? That's true. I don't blame you. Well, anyway, let me put this one back. I'm gonna get the next one, okay? I wish that they would actually show me the manga. <laughs> oh, look at that expectant, happy face right there. So you're gonna tell me everything you thought, right? Where this one leave off again? I forget. Uh, the chapter ended when Minori and Alice found <gasps> Monica. Let's see if I first out from the encyclopedia. Eh? Up here inside. All Nasty's books are lined up on the top shelf. Did you move my manga? Ah, sorry, sorry. Teacher got mad at me for taking up so much space in her closet. Decided to move some stuff around and clean up a little bit. It's all still there, I just had to organize it a bit. Ugh. Top shelf is far above Nasty's head. Oh no. Jeez, this is so inconvenient. I'm moving these all back down. There's plenty of room on these shelves. Besides, they're really pretty looking on the outline. I bet you they are. Why would you waste that on the top shelf? Uh, Natsuki, there's a stool on the wall there. In the closet, there's a collapsible stool that hangs on the wall. If you want, I can reach up there and hand them to you. I can get them myself. Grab this stool from the wall and pulls it. You think I'm too short or something? I, I mean, I knew it. Well, you know what? Just watch me. Uh, uh oh. Uh, uh, careful. I know what I'm doing. Staying on the stool, Natsuki's fingertips reach the top shelf. The stool would be enough for me to easily guide the books, but Natsuki is being stubborn as usual. Uh, uh. Natsuki uses her fingers to scoot one of the smaller boxes to the edge of the shelf. See, he he. Yeah! <laughs> Box only tips. Natsuki barely catches it before it falls to the floor. Stool wobbles. What? What? Losing balance, Natsuki hops off the stool. Thankfully, she was always on her feet. Aw, I was kind of expecting her to fall on me or something. She holds the box triumphantly. There! Having almost fell, Natsuki is a bit shaken up. Jeez. <sighs> no need to prove yourself to me. There's no way you'll be able to get the bigger box like that. I can reach them, so just... I said I could do it! <laughs> Don't want your help, okay? <sighs> I'm gonna get a chair, so just hang on. Let's see. Got some chairs out of the desk attached, so they're too inconvenient to fit in the closet. Yeah, no kidding. Aha! Yep, I knew it. Computer chair. Oh, that's not a good idea. Computer chairs are far worse. Uh, yeah, exactly. That's exactly what I'm thinking. Alright, but this time we're gonna let her do it. Alright, she's slowly balancing. Since she refused my help, I take a seat with my back against the side of the doorway and simply watch. There we go. Oh, Look at that. They're not that high. See? I can easily do it now. Got a stack of mingum. Bends down to the stuff. What? What? Chair souls. How'd she catch yourself on the stuff? What are you doing? Can you at least hold the chair sitting instead of sitting there and doing nothing? Who's it told me not to help? Yeah, yeah, I, I got you. Hold the chair when Nowski reaches back up. I can... 
I can always see what's going Oh no. No. No pantsu. Gah. Forced myself to turn away. Natsuki did not think this through. Or maybe she did. Look at that little smile on her face. Whoop. Natsuki wraps her arms around the parfait, but girl's box set easily the largest one on the shelf. Ooh, heavy. Hey, Monica. I don't think I can bend down without falling. How are you going to take this one? It? But then I have to let go of the chair. That's fine. Just for a second. Hurry up. All right. Let me just stand up. Slowly release my grip from the chair. What do you mean, stand up? Nowski looks down at me. Why are you all the way back? It. It. Nowski looks like she just realized something, but she'll lose her balance as she moves. Nowski. The box. What are you looking at? <laughs> You're trying to look at my, my. <laughs> Natsuki's leg shakes. I'm not. I was just. Natsuki, don't try to move. Just give me the box. Hentai, baka. <laughs> you set me up. Go away. <laughs> Get out. But I'll do it myself. Uh, the chair slowly swirls beneath Natsuki's feet. Natsuki. Yeah. The scene turns to chaos in a split second. The chair flies from under Natsuki's feet. Oh, gotta try to catch her. Box topples out of her hands and the books go flying. I got you. Thunk. <laughs> uh. <laughs> Gotta say, uh, Natsuki's, Natsuki's route so far is much more animated <laughs> than Yuri's. A whole bunch of books pop me in the face. She holds herself with her own arms as her face lands straight on my chest. <clears throat> my right arm on my back seriously felt the impact. Aww. Uh, look at that. Whoa, whoa. Ooh, silly Nasi comes to her senses. <laughs> Presses her arms straight into me. Ah, oh, yeah, I hate that. Eh? Nasi seems to realize it's not, it's not the floor beneath her. But it's me. And Mutti. Just kidding. <laughs> gross, gross. Kimochi. Cock. A fist pounds in my chest. <laughs> what were you thinking? You sicko. Everything okay? A loud noise. Pearson sees Nowski sitting on me. See what happens when you put manga on the top shelf? Are you trying to kill your club members? <laughs> Why, yes. Yes, she is. Jeez. Sorry. Sorry. <laughs> oh, and one more thing. It seems like your most recent club member is a total pervert. So I hope you're happy. <laughs> uh, do it there, I swear. I know. Don't worry. Monica says that quietly to me. Looks like I'm off the hook. Oh no. Oh no. Is it bent? Am I standing on it? Is it ripped? <gasps> oh no. Oh, that sucks. Oh, that sucks so bad. I know that feeling because that happened to me recently. On uh, on my shelf, there's enough room because they're, they're, it's not like a bookshelf. It They're meant to just be like, uh, like whatever shelves I guess they're just they're just from Walmart but they're deep enough that you could put two rows of uh of books on them and my uh my Legend of Zelda Oracle of Ages and Seasons manga fell behind the other ones but like another book kind of fell on it and it bent it and so I I know this pain I know this pain so she goes and sends books and throws on the floor Oh no. Let's look at the Yoshi just lowers her head. No! Natsuki, don't cry. No. Natsuki's voice squeaks. I see tears of. Oh, this is really sad. Oh, too real. I hope to get the crease out, okay? It's partially my fault, so. Natsuki shakes her head, still looking down. No. I don't even care that much. I'm just having a really bad day today. Natsuki sobs again. I didn't mean to take it on you. Oh, this is really sad. 
I don't I don't like Natsuki crying. I don't like anyone crying really, but especially Natsuki. I really didn't mean to. It, it's it's fine. Is there anything you want to talk about? Natsuki shakes her head. Yes. Every day. So hard. I just want to go to the club and Natsuki falls silent again. I can't press her so I can only can only do what I know how to do. Oh am I gonna hug her? Alright. Well I'll help clean this up and I'll move the rest of your mouth before you. Uh, I feel volume two of Parfait goes. We'll set this one aside. Let's help cheer you a bit, right? Yeah, certainly. As soon as I'm done. Oh, her lip quivers. You're, you're really nice to me. Eh? Sounds really strange coming from Natsuki. Didn't expect it at all. Well, I'm just treating you like a friend, you know? Mm. Natsuki lowers head and sips with a sob. Not sure what happened to her today, but being nice is the least I could do. Next couple minutes are silent between us as being gathering the scattered books. Make sure to slip them into the box in the correct order. After a little bit, Natsuki starts helping. It wasn't long before we're done, and I hoist the box onto the shelf where Natsuki wanted to put it. Then I get on the stool and quickly finish moving the rest of her books from the top shelf. Alright, that should do it. I'm off the stool. Natsuki averts her gaze. Th thanks. Haha, <laughs> it's nothing. Natsuki's holding the volume to the side of him. Alright, I'm ready. Good. Even if you weren't, I'd make you anyway. You're taking responsibility for what you said. Think about cheering me up. If you insist. Alright, same spot. Second volume. Nasty move quickly improves. Laughing and pointing things out to me. This is this is good. Anime and manga do do quite cheer the soul. The other day, uh, the other day I woke up and was not happy. I had a bad dream. And you know, you ever have like you ever have a bad dream and then the only thing like you don't remember the full dream. You remember like a, like tiny bits of it, but not enough. Sometimes you remember like a couple people that show up and stuff like that, but then you come back out of the dream and the only thing you have left is the feeling of it. And like the other day I had that and I just woke up feeling so freaking lonely and sad. And then I watched anime. And then I was happy again. So, in the end, I'm pretty impressed by how everything ties together in this manga. Guess Nasi has good taste after all. After some time, Monica gets our attention. It's usual when it's time to share a poems again. Guess I'll be holding on to this for now. Yep. Even you sound more enthusiastic this time. Well, I'm starting to get into it, you know? Hee <laughs> hee. Told you. Yeah, yeah. Turn to my seat, slip the book into my bag. Okay, poem time. Um, should I save the best for last? Alright, let's 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 start with Monica. Hi again. How's the running going? Alright, I'll take that. Happy that you're applying yourself. Maybe you'll soon come up with a masterpiece. Ah, uh, yeah, I wouldn't count on that. Mine are pretty bad. I wish that it, like, auto-generated a poem for you so you could read it. Alright. It's pretty good. You've been spending some time at Natsuki, haven't you? You must like a writing style. I do. It is a neat way to tell a story. I don't disagree. Natsuki's poems may be cute, but they're also meaningful. Do, do, do. I can see why you'd be in the style. I guess that means you're not much a fan of Yuri's poems, then. Why the dichotomy? Why the dichotomy? Kind of like everyone's. You like more than others, yeah? Yeah, that's true. I do like stories, poems. But anyway, you want to read my poem now? Alright, let's take a look. Save me. The colors, they won't stop. Alright, this one is, this one is usual. Flashing, expanding, piercing, red, green, blue, and then let's kick off the means the noise. The noise, it won't stop. Violet, violent, grating waveforms, squeaking, screeching, piercing, sighing, cosine, tangent. Like playing a chalkboard on a turntable. Like playing a vinyl on a pizza crust. An endless poem of meaningless. Load me. Save. Hmm. More abstract. More programming. Alright. Here's Monica's writing tip of the day. Difficult decision, don't forget to save. 
It's funny that her poem's about loading and saving, and then she mentions that. It's good. Uh, let's do Yuri's next. Um, are you still mad at me? Eh? For disrespecting Natsuki yesterday. Because reading this poem, now I know he got mad at me. Because you, you prefer her writing over mine. That's not really true. I mean, when I disrespected her, I disrespected you too, didn't I? Oh no. Yuri. You might be reading into this a little much. Yeah. How could I be so stupid? Oh, whoops, I, I always let these things happen. <laughs> Whenever I think before I speak, I just come off awkward and unlikable. But if I speak without thinking, the things I want to keep inside come out and make people hate me. So, please don't force yourself to be around me. Oh, this is sad. I know this is what Monica wants. Um, shit. Since I named myself Monica, I can't tell if she's talking about Monica Monica or Doki Master Monica. Oh, please. It makes it easier for me if you don't express any concern. Besides, I have my books with me. That's all I need. Oh, shit, that's sad. I totally understand, but that's sad. Oh, jeez, and she put her head down? I am frustrated. Yeah, that's one. I'm sad, personally, but don't hate her. It's not like she can't listen to me. Sorry. If she wants to be left alone, they have no choice but to buy that press. Oh, that's the worst. Hate it when that happens with people. Let's save Natsuki for last. Ooh, I like this one. It has some nice feelings in it. I'm glad. Does that mean it's better than yesterday's? Mm, let me think. Fuck now. It's not because only three were for sorry this time. I guess I like them both. <laughs> That's not very helpful, you know. Well, I'm not very good at figuring out if poems are good or bad. That's why I just go by my heart. If it makes me doki, then I like it. If I, it doesn't doki, then that's it. Yeah, maybe. Honestly, I don't even know what kind of writing you like in the first place. Yeah, me neither. Why don't you at least try giving us a thought? Aw, you want to write something for me? That's so sweet. Yeah, right. I always think about other people. You need to think about yourself. It's true. But if she thinks about herself, then she kills herself. So, you know. Unfortunate. Anyway, let's see. Hmm, I guess I like happy poems. But sometimes sad. Sometimes both. There's a word for that, right? Bittersweet? I feel like it'd be hard to go for Sayori. I mean, that's probably what I'll do next. But that is... Because there's there's overlap be like between uh, her and all the other girls as far as word choice goes. So I'm wondering what it'd be. Nice, happy rainbow. Aww. Bottles. Pop off my scalp like the lid of a cookie jar. She was eating a cookie yesterday. I can see where the inspiration comes from. It's at the secret place where I keep all my dreams. Little balls of sunshine, all rubbing together like a bundle of kittens. I reach inside with my thumb and forefinger and pluck one out. It's warm and tingly, but there's no time to waste. I put it in a bottle to keep it safe, and I put the bottle on the shelf with all the other bottles. Happy thoughts, happy thoughts, happy thoughts and bottles, all in a row. My collection makes me a lot of friends. Each bottle is styled to make amends. Sometimes my friends feel a certain way. Duncan's bottle said that. This is totally about the fight yesterday. Huh. Night after night, more dreams. Friend after friend, more battles. Bottles. Deeper and deeper, my fingers go like exploring a dark cave, discovering the secrets hidden in the nooks and crannies. Digging and digging, scraping and scraping. I blow dust off my bottle caps. It doesn't feel like time elapsed. My empty shelf could use some more. My friends looked through my locked front door. Finally all done, I open up, and in come my friends. And they come in such a hurry. Do they want my bottles that much? I frantically pull them from the shelf, one after the other, holding them out to each and every friend, each and every bottle. But every time I let one go, it shatters against the bottle, and it's the tile between my feet. Happy thoughts, happy thoughts, happy thoughts, and the shards all over the floor. They're supposed to be for my friends, my friends who aren't smiling. They're all shouting, pleading, something. But all I hear is echo, 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 echo inside my head. So, some of this, you know, the cookie part, or cookie yesterday, but then, uh, like, sometimes my friend feels a certain way, down comes a bottle, save the day. It's like how Sari jumps in and, like, helps resolve everyone else's problems and stuff. You know, she keeps doing that, and, you know, keeps pulling out those bottles that help out people and whatnot. She lets, you know, she lets people in, but then all the 
all the happy thoughts and whatnot, they just kind of tumble down. And she's still at a loss for words. And then she's just in her head. Holy crap. Of course I did. Didn't I tell you I was going to write the best poem ever? Yeah, that's a really good poem. It's almost kind of creepy. <laughs> oh, never mind. I'm thinking too hard. Oh, thanks. Hope you keep it up. Yeah, writing's the best. I'm going to keep writing till I die. That is accurate. That is indeed accurate. All right, All right let's show Nosky my poem. Thanks, hit me. The back of the poem. Shred it more than once. Mm. Is it that bad? No, 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 it's not. It's good. It's really good, okay? There, I said it. Ugh, this wasn't supposed to happen at all. Why can't you just be bad at this? My poems are supposed to impress you, not the other way around. You're trying to impress me? Obviously. You think I'd let you enjoy Yuri's writing more than mine? Give me a break. Well, in that case, what's the problem with me trying to impress you? I'll tell you, you... Mm -hmm. Let's see, say three sits. You, 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 you're trying to impress me? Noski vigorously scans her eyes over my poem one more time. Then the poem slides out of her hands and flies to the floor. I, I have to use the bathroom. <laughs> uh, hey, Monica, did you do something, Noski? Sorry, rush out like that. You didn't do anything terrible, did you? Uh, yeah, I threatened to look at her pants again. No, I just told her that my voice gets caught in my throat. <clears> throat. There's no way, Mark. <laughs> There's no way I can tell her that. Hmm. Looks at the poem, picks it up, skims it over a second time. Her smile not fading from her face. <laughs> you see, at first I just thought you liked her writing style, but you wrote this for her, didn't you? I, I mean, not really. In fact, didn't you like your poem a lot the other day too? I'm surprised you know her taste so well already. Are you sure you're not cheating, Mark? <laughs> <laughs> Cheating? What do you mean by that? Never mind. I'm just kidding. <laughs> uh, this thing's inside jokes are so good. Oh, you don't need to answer that. Is this something for you to think about? Hey! Oh, that's kind of something that's the poem of Monica's hand. Neither of us had no so recent re enter the gotcha. Did you read this, Monica? Of course. I liked it. Mm. You should really stop reading things that aren't for you, you know. Oh, shit. Natsuki knows. The bad habit of doing that. Eh? But Monica wrote this poem. And we're supposed to share with everyone, right? Mm. Natsuki freezes. She probably forgot my poem was tasking for everyone to read. I mean, but I did write it for her. Okay, well. I think Monica has done sharing this poem with everyone. It's not like anyone would want to read this anyway. In fact, I'm just going to hold on to this. Aww. If you insist. What? Why are you looking at me like that? Like what? Mm. Never mind. Well, I guess Nasuke has my poem now. Well, it's a good thing I did here last. Anyway, read my poem now. And no, I won't let you keep it. Oh, but Natsuki. So I only go. Yeah, well, that's my only copy. <sighs> Amy likes spiders. You know what I heard about Amy? Amy likes spiders. Icky, really hairy, ugly spiders. That's why I'm not friends with her. Amy has a cute singing voice. I heard her singing my favorite love song. Every time she sang the chorus, my heart would pound to the rhythm of the words. But she likes spiders. That's why I'm not friends with her. One time, I hurt my leg really bad. Amy helped me up and took me to the nurse. I try not to let her touch me. She likes spiders, so her hands are probably gross. That's why I'm not friends with her. Amy has a lot of friends. I always see her talking to people. She probably talks about spiders. What if her friends start to like spiders too? That's why I'm not friends with her. It doesn't matter if she has other hobbies. It doesn't matter if she keeps it private. It doesn't matter if it doesn't hurt anyone. It's gross. She's gross. The world is better off with us by lovers, and I'm gonna tell everyone. <sighs> Shit. Um... I'm trying to figure out what this poem's about. Is, is this about Yuri? Or Monica. The singing voice makes me think Monica. Huh.
Not bad, right? It's quite a bit long in the answer. It is. It's just way too short. I was just warming up. Hope you didn't think that was the best I could do. No, of course not. Anyway, the message is pretty straightforward in this poem. I doubt I have to explain it. Sometimes you can explain complicated with much simpler analogies, and it helps you realize how stupid they're being. Like anyone would agree that the subject of the poem is an ignorant jerk. Okay, so it's about Yuri. <laughs> <laughs> Do <laughs> you know people like that? Of course. That's how everyone thinks my... That doesn't matter. It can be about anything. Oh. This is about herself? Hmm. Oh. The spiders are manga. And it's about her. I want to be easy to write to, but everyone has some kind of weird hobby or guilty pleasure. Something you're afraid of people find out they make fun of you or less of you. But that just makes people stupid. Who cares what someone likes as long as they're not hurting anyone and make it makes them happy? And people really need to learn to respect others for liking weird things. You fucking said it, Natsuki. Well, you're definitely right. At least I can relate to that. I'm sure a lot of other people can too. You know, I'm glad that you can appreciate this kind of writing. I mean, I know I was talking about that yesterday, but I've been, well, I've been enjoying sharing my writing with you, so so consider yourself lucky, okay? <laughs> Thanks for being honest. What's that supposed to mean? I'm always honest. Jeez. Just look forward to tomorrow, too, okay? Alright, I will. I will. Alright, everyone. We're all done doing that. So, something extra about the festival. All right. Uh huh. Okay, let's get on. But that doesn't tell us what we're actually going to be doing for the event. Where is Sayori? Performing. Uh, Monica. Sayori's putting out all posters in case. There she is. Okay. I think it's it's the next day. Sayori goes home early. Oh, she's been coloring. Nice. We should give it our best. <laughs> All right, come on. I just want to get the next next part. So sorry, if, again. For anyone who didn't get the warning last time, um, if you haven't played this game, please do not watch this stream. Please go play it yourself. Or watch my friend get emotionally scarred from it in the last stream that's still available in the past broadcast. <laughs> uh, I think that was a week ago, so it might be gone. I don't know how long Twitch uh, holds on to these things. Hmm. All right, we have now convinced everyone to share some poetry. Do, 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 do. It'll be fine, Yuri. Anyway, let's move on to the main event. All right, okay, this is by where we all talk. Do, 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 do. Oh, yeah. <laughs> hear ye, hear ye. The title of this poem is The Way They Fly. <laughs> Bum, bum, bum. It's because Monica's perfect. That's why she can just bang it out like that. Because she's so perfect. Bum, 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 bum. I'll go next. Watcha! Yuri's all fired up. It's called After Image of a Crimson Something. Alright. Do, 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 do. Anyway, sorry. I am reading this. Uh, but I. Let me think. I, I tend to read quickly. It kind of comes when you watch a lot of anime and get used to reading subtitles all the time. Like small little snippets, like small sentences like this, you kind of just absorb. Bum, bum, bum. My meadow. Ah. Ha, ha, ha. <laughs> a lot harder than I thought. Uh, Sire's just, she's good. 
Ta-dun, dun, ta-dun, dun. Ta-dun. So DDR Club was really good back in the day. I wasn't that good at DDR. I mean, I could do some stuff on, uh, uh, what was the levels? There's beginner, intermediate, no. Shit. There are four, there are four of them. I could do them on like hard and sometimes an expert depending on the song. But other times not so much. Some of my friends had like this interesting like flat footed style that they would do where they hardly even like moved up or down. It was kind of insane to watch. Really fun though. I still have a, I have a DDR pad at my house. I could play it. That'd be a, uh, well, I can't really, I can't stream from consoles because I don't have a splitter or stuff like that. <clears throat> I should get one at some point though. Um, but, uh, sorry, just thinking real quick. Yeah, because then I could do PS2. How do you even stream DDR? I mean, you'd, you'd, have to have, you'd have to use a webcam. I don't currently. I mean, I think I have one, but I don't see the point in the, uh, I don't see the point in it. I mean, like if you're watching the if you're watching a game, aren't you watching it to you know, watch the game and not watch the streamer? I don't know. Just my opinion. The poem is called. It's called. Why are you all looking at me? The poem is called Jump. The poem is called Jump. Um, what's the name of that? Uh, oh, all right. Right, right, right. The poem is called Jump. Which which means sorry, I'm just grabbing something real quick. It's it's called Jump. And you know what that means, right? That what Sayuri is reading is actually is actually the lyrics to the song. That's what she's doing right now. She is singing this song for us. <laughs> that's that's right. Pretty sure. Like 900% sure that's what she's doing. Now he takes a breath and jumps! <laughs> they bounce up and down. Everyone's applauding. Wasn't so bad. Yeah, reading Van Halen lyrics really helps you out. It's just embarrassing. And so I want to thank everyone for coming through. Thanks, everyone. You did a really good job. A really really good job okay you guys are the best the bestest the bestest ever sorry i just i'm just deleting that picture okay anyway <clears throat> Sorry, that's gone now. It's important to do that. Um, like I don't know, I don't know how many of you have like a completely shit downloads folder, but it's so easy for your downloads program folder to get insane because you download stuff and then didn't delete it after and whatnot. That if if I don't go and like delete things after I am done with them, then I just end up with a bunch of crap, and it's such a pain in the ass. Because sometimes there's important stuff like that you download and then it just kind of gets lost in the noise. It's the worst. Oh, oh, oh look, look at you always going on together like that. It's kind of adorable, isn't it? Gee, <laughs> Jeez, guys, don't make such a big deal out of it. It must be a little mass, though. Well, uh, how am I supposed to respond to that? It's okay, man, okay? You don't have to say it. Whatever, let's get going already. Yeah, I like walking home with my best friend, okay? She's my best childhood friend. She's being a little quiet. Hey, sorry. Sorry, I was spacing out. Uh, no wonder. Um, I was thinking about something from earlier. I like how we got to... Uh, I mean... Sorry, fumbles with her words. So let's just say that one day... 
Nasuki asked to walk home with you, huh? What would you do? What kind of question is that? Kind of putting me on the spot here. Hee hee hee. Well. Uh. I mean, I don't know which way she goes. But we live. We live next to each other. So we would walk home together. Sorry. You really think I would ditch you for Nasuki? Eh? But, but, but. She's so cute and fun to be around. Jeez. I already see her in the club every day. Besides. You always seem to really like going home together. I wouldn't just ruin that for you. <laughs> You're so silly, Monica. You think about me too much sometimes. Nasuki would deserve it if she wanted it, so... Sorry, I've already made up my mind. I really can't figure you out sometimes. Sorry. Besides, what's the point in speculating something that's never gonna happen? Hmm... And that's when Sorry gets the idea to be sick and go home. Who knows what will happen in that time. <clears throat> okay. Poetry time. Uh, parfait. Uh, well, rainbow I think would be Sayori. So let's go with cheer. Damn. Bouncy. Bunny. Uh, fireflies are animals. Oh shit. Hmm. Mouse. I wonder if Kitty would be sorry. Uh, Papa. Doki. <laughs> Papa Doki. Um, secretive, maybe? Or would that be Yuri Word? Shit, which one of the. Forgive. Nope. Damn it. I should have known that was sorry. Heartbeat. Candy. Oh, chocolates. Chocolates definitely a. a, a, a a Nazi word, right? Yep. Uh, lollipop. Jumpy and jumping bowls. Um, warm, maybe? Nope. Shoot. Vanilla. Milk. Uh, eh, lucky. Lucky. Nope. Shoot, that's a party five to us already. I'm not doing this well. Good. Um, playground? Oh, look at that. Pink? Um, I feel like clouds would be sorry. A tone would definitely be a sorry, probably. Or Yuri. Let's do. You know, kisses romance, so that'd be more Yuri's. So, that's a sunny? Damn. Six. Um,. Fantasy. Uh, Poppy would be Sayori, right? Nope, Puppy is not ski. Okay. Oh man, last one here again. Practicing piano. Yeah, practicing that keyboard typing you're doing. Da -da, da -da -da, da -bum -bum. Not determination, but passion. Passion for me. Oh look, Natsuki's all excited for the festival. Eh? Weren't you complaining about it yesterday? Yep. Yeah, but now, fucking pumped up. So pumped up. Do they have fried squid? Squid? It's a pretty specific thing to look forward to. Oh, come on. Are you saying you don't like squid? You, of all people? Huh? Doesn't say I didn't like it. Besides, what do you mean you, of all people? This is the joke I was talking about earlier. Because, it's right in your name. Monica. Eh? That's not how you say my name at all. Also, that joke makes no sense in translation. Just a, uh, it's true, it doesn't make any sense in translation. But that's okay. Because we all know, Ika means squid. <laughs> do, 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 do. He, he, fine, fine. <laughs> Excuse me. Very sorry. Oh, sitting at a desk being all sad. She's been brainstorming about how to get me to walk home with Natsuki. And she's not used to thinking, so <laughs> she's a little burnt out. Bum, 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 bum. Oh, big smile! All right, you say so. This is one, you know. 
Monica is like, well, if you if you want if you want the player to be with the other person, it's simple. Just take yourself out of the equation and kill yourself. She's just putting on an act for me the whole time. Being so cheerful all the time. Totally understandable. Bum, 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 bum. Hey, you. Eh? Look what is he now sitting next to me. Are you just going to sit there and keep staring at nothing? There's not much time, so... Oh, sorry. I didn't mean to make you worry or anything. It's not like I'm worried. I was just... Oh, see, that's down there, sorry. Just holding a volume of Mega Man. Aww. That's right. Something just came up for a minute, but we can get started now. Won't make you wait any longer. Jeez. Now you're making me feel like a jerk. Something's bothering you. You can just tell me to leave you alone, and I will. I mean, I mean you didn't feel like talking about it or anything. Aww. Uh, the the soon, the soon dairy. Nah, probably making it seem like it's a bigger deal than it is. Just been thinking about Sayori. That's all. Sayori. Thinking about her. Romantically, yeah, she seems pretty down today, but she didn't want to admit it to me. So I can't but wonder if something happened to her. Uh, oh, that's the house. Well, first of all, you should really work on your phrasing. But anyway, you're her best friend, right? I guess so. Yeah. Then in that case, I think you should trust her a little more. If she needed you, then she, then you'd be the first person she'd go to, right? Well, guess that's true. I mean, some people just have those days. Dun, 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 dun. Uh, done. Just one of those days. Can't always avoid it. If anything, she probably doesn't want you to worry about her because it's not important. Yeah, it's uh, it's kind of what she said. It's not right for me to go against her wishes. Exactly. If she needs you to worry about her. Then that be a little. It'll be a lot more obvious. Yeah. Should have thought of it that way from the start. How she fiddles with the book she's holding hands. She. She really means a lot to you, doesn't she? Uh, don't get the wrong idea or anything. We've just been friends for a long time. It's no one to be worried about your friends. I mean, you were about me, so I was not. Jeez, if you're fine, then let's get her. Let's hurry and get started already. Yeah, yeah. Dot, dot, dot. Okay, everyone. Let's share our poems. Everything goes back to the blah, blah, blah. The guy kind of Monica, she smiles. She smiles at me because she told Sarah to kill herself. Okay. Um. Sorry, just... Thinking wise, uh, if I talk to Sayori, she's gonna go home. And I think, I think this round, uh, wait, no, no, Natsuki took my phone last time, so maybe she won't do it this time. But still, we should do Natsuki last in that case. I think the safest thing to do would do Yuri first. Because Yuri would just flagged out reject it. She doesn't look too enthusiastic about spending time with me. Yeah, no kidding. She freaking hates me. Yep. Bye. Let's show it to Monica. Hi, Monica. Have you thought about what you want to submit to perform? Well, nope. Not really. Turns out great. Makes me happy to see. And I'm just a freaking loser and I go and I grab something from online. Terrible, terrible person. Plagiarism. Hmm. You really like Natsuki, don't you? Er, that's... Come on, Monica. It's awfully suspicious, you know? Spending time with her in the club room every day. Pretending to like the manga. Hey. Hey. Whoa now. Too far. I do like that manga. Parfait Girls is fantastic. Come on. You guys understand. It's not like Natsuki just hates anyone who doesn't get her what she wants. She's assertive, but she's not selfish. In fact, I think you're the only one who's indulged her as much as you have. That's so... Kind of, but I don't want a minute. Just had to ask one more thing. Be careful, please. Natsuki's kind of unpredictable. A lot of times she doesn't even know what she wants. After all, she's the youngest one here. I don't know how to handle her own feelings properly. What I'm saying is, if something bad happens, like I'm damaging the club too. And you want to do that to me, right? That's not how to respond. Well, I care about her in the club. It's also kind of unfair to bring that up. Well, you're smart. I'm sure you'll do the right thing. Not just smile sweetly. Anyway, I'll share my point with you now, right? Okay. <laughs> okay. The lady who knows everything. 
An old tale of a an old tale tells of a lady who wanders earth. The lady who knows everything. A beautiful lady who has found every answer. All me, all purpose, and all that was ever sought. And here I am, a feather. Lost adrift the sky, victim of the currents of the wind. Day after day I search. I search for little hope, knowing legends don't exist. But when all else has failed me, when all else have turned away, when all hope is lost, the legend is all that remains. <laughs> the last dim star glimmering in the twilight sky. Twillet. Twillet? She spelled twilight wrong. Unless it's supposed to say Twillet Sky. Monica, your shit speller. Until one day the wind ceases to blow, I fall and I fall and I fall even more. So gentle as a feather, a dry quill, expressionless. But a hand catches me between the thumb and forefinger, the hand of a beautiful lady. I look at her eyes and find no end to her gaze. The lady who knows everything knows what I'm thinking. Before I can speak, she responds in a hollow voice. I have found every answer, all of which is amounts to nothing. My name is Friedrich Nietzsche. There is no meaning, there is no purpose, and we seek only the impossible. I am not your legend, your legend does not exist. And with the rest, she blows me back afloat, and I pick up a gust of wind. You know, I feel like learning and looking for answers are the sort of things that give life meaning. Not to get too philosoph philosophical or anything. It's kind of my mind, so that's what I wrote about. Because she's trying to find a way to be with me, because she loves me so much. If we had all the answers, wouldn't the world start to lose me? Only if you happen to live in a video game and you realize you lived in a video game and that everything's predetermined and there's not a place written in for you to be in my heart, Monica. So, so I'm sorry. <sighs> yeah. Everything. Hey, we don't have anything to write about. That is very true. I definitely write more when I'm upset than when I'm happy. Though I do try to change that. Right, Monica's ever too shy to show your writing? We find people enjoy writing and sharing because it's a lot easier. That's true. Or you can just go, like, put it on an anonymous board somewhere and watch people tear it apart or say some things that they like. Um, I'll show it to Sayori. Hmm, it's nice, I guess. Come on, I can already tell you don't like it. Yeah, this dialogue hasn't changed. Go for someone else. Probably Natsuki. Yeah, I didn't write this for anyone specifically. Maybe. That's what I really meant, but it's okay. You're making new friends just like I was hoping. That makes me really happy. And you're happy too, right? In this club? Well, of course I am. Good. That's all that matters to me. Thank you, Monica. Is there something wrong? No, I just want to go home because I'm tired. She's a, she's a pretty bad actress. I'm gonna go home a bit early. Tell Monica I wasn't feeling well at all, okay? And then she cheerfully walks away because she's like, haha, I set my best friend up. Good friend. Let's see, let's see. You're certainly enthusiastic today. Of course. You know I like your writing. I'm just surprised. It seemed like you had a lot of trouble admitting that before. Well, well, of course. I just had to put you in your place a little bit. It's not like, I mean, it's not like I was shy or anything stupid like that. Or jealous. Heh, heh, heh. I really wasn't jealous. Just because you happen to be a good writer. That's such a dumb thing to get jealous about. Ha ha ha. I like, I almost wish they'd put like, oh ho ho, instead of ah ha ha. Because then it'd be uh, like that, uh, I don't know if it's a trope or what, but the, the <laughs> kind of laugh that you get sometimes from ridiculous characters in animes. Anyway, Natsuki, what? You're not very confident about your writing, are you? Eh? What, what are you talking about? My writing is obviously the best, right? It took me a while to figure out, but I think I finally did. Maybe Natsuki acts so arrogant because she's trying to make up for her own insecurities. No fucking shit. If she actually she's the best, then people might think that way too. Right? Monica, please just tell me you like my poems. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I don't care if you hate them. Just please tell me I'm the best. I just actually need to hear that from someone. Aww, Natsuki. I know I sound stupid, but there's a reason I never shared my poems before like this. Natsuki. Because, because nobody ever takes me seriously. What's the point in sharing my poems if you would just laugh and say, that's so cute, just like you, Natsuki. Sometimes I don't want to be cute, but nobody understands that. I try really hard when I write. Style doesn't matter. The emotions are there. Why can't anyone see that? Oh no. I just want 
Noski throws off. Maybe it's because her lips start to quiver. I look down. Her fists are clenched really tightly. Hey, Natsuki. If you're not careful, you'll rip your own poem. I gently grab the poem in my own hand until she rises to grip on it. Place it flat on the desk and smooth it out with the wrinkles that she put into it. D don't read it! Before I can pick it back up, Natsuki snatches the poem up from the desk. It's not any good, and I know you hate my poems. So you don't have to read this one, okay? But I want to read it. But why? Because I like your poems. I really do. Why would I judge you for your style? It's not like my own style is anything crazy. I mean, it's true that the first time I read one of your poems, I didn't look much into it. But I know you better now. And it's wrong for Yuri to think your style is more amateur shit. I hit, I hit space too soon. It's more amateur than hers. And sorry, she always means well. But sometimes she's so focused on simple happiness that she doesn't understand what people really want. Yeah, I guess I never thought about how hard it is for you. And I'm sorry if I was part of that problem. I understand now. You're not just cute. You're a lot more than that. Oh shit, I called her cute. Uh, Natsuki, you're doing it again. I was getting Natsuki clutches her palm a little too hard. She looks down, hiding her eyes from me. I never realized how difficult this was for her. But finally, she forces us to extend her arm and set her poem on the table. You can read it. Just turn that way. I don't want you to look at my face right now. Okay, I will. Because you. Tomorrow will be brighter with me around, but when today is dim, I can only look down. My looking is a little more forward because you look at me. When I want to say something, I say it with a shout, but my truest feelings can never come out. My words are a little less empty because you listen to me. When something is above me, I reach for the stars, but when I feel small, I don't get very far. My standing's a little bit taller because you sit with me. I believe in myself with all of my heart, but what do I do when it's torn all apart? My faith is a little bit stronger because you trusted me. My pen always puts my feelings to the test. I'm not a good writer, but my best is my best. My poems are a little bit deary, dearer because you think of me. Because you, because you, because you. Wow. That has got to be like the cutest love poem I've ever read. I am so happy that I decided to do Natsuki's route. Holy crap. That is so freaking cute. Dot, dot, dot. Why are you looking at me like that? If you don't like it, then just say it. I won't get mad. No, it's not that I don't like it. It was just a little surprising to read. This clearly isn't the poem that Yeri told me she had written. I Meaning I'm probably the only one she's showing this to. Or I guess I'm not used to hearing such nice things coming from you. D don't just say that, dummy. Baka. What do you think the point of writing is? Expressing things that you can't just say. Yeah, I understand. I'm sorry for missing the point sometimes. I always mean well, and I'm happy that you showed this to me. I liked it. Well, yeah. I, I'm a pro, so... Nasty mumbles, completely failing to sound confident like she usually does. Jess, remember that I can think these things sometimes too, okay? You know, when you're nice to me, it's... meaningful. Huh, uh, I'm glad. Since Inosuke is satisfied, I start to hand the poem back to her. But as I do, Inosuke takes my hand and pushes them back away. Her small, soft hands surprise me with their assertion. I don't want it. Eh? Why not? I just don't. Jeez. I realize Inosuke's doing, yeah, no fucking shit. And I would be honest, she's trying to give me the poem in a roundabout way. Well, in that case, I'm going to keep it. Instead of teasing, I chose to go along with it. Good. If you didn't, I would... Never mind. Just, I'm glad you want it. Now skip back, puddles in her words, and leaves it at that. Despite her best efforts to hide her expression, I can see her faintly smile at herself. That's all for now, so go put it away before someone sees it, okay? Uh, yeah. I'll go do that. With that, I return to my seat so I can put away Minotsky's poem. Okay, you three. We're all done sharing poems, right? We are, and I just got the most adorable freaking love poem in the world. Why don't we start figuring out, hold on a second. Is it just me or does something, you say something strange just now? Eh? Something this sound a bit unusual. Yeah, cause she said you three. Bum, 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 bum. Dun, 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 dun. This, uh, this text is the same.
I know. Everything's fine. She just told her that she was gonna go kill herself, that's all. Nasuke, we're making cupcakes. Challenge accepted. As for myself, I'm gonna be doing all this crap. And Yuri is gonna do the atmosphere and some signs. Okay, and this time I'm gonna choose to go and make some cupcakes. Yes, that is what she's suggesting. Ah, despite all, all the neglect, Yuri still kind of likes me. That's right, Natsuki. You're just gonna give me some dirty work. Bum 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 bum. I wonder what happens if you actually go with Monica. Gotta do that sometime. Of course. But of course, I'm gonna go with... Natsuki. Well, baking sounds like it could be fun. You guys may sound like a lot of work, so it could probably be used to people. Don't worry. Baking is a ton of fun. You'll definitely agree. Eh? Just a minute ago, you were saying that. that That's because... Never mind, okay? Well, anyway. You'll be fine by yourself, right, Yuri? Of course. I'm used to it after all. Ooh. Ooh. Just stab me right in the heart, Yuri. It's good. Yuri's being a bit melodramatic. It's a little hard to not feel about it. It's true. So that's everything, right? Anything else we need to talk about? No, I think that's it. Are you guys excited? Fuck yeah. <laughs> Everything except the performance is gonna be awesome. <laughs> uh, that's good enough for me. How about you, Yuri? Yuri? She's still so good. Noski starts pouty too. Ugh. It's not, I mean, it's not that big of a deal or anything. Well, it might not be just that. I think that Yuri might just be feeling a little underappreciated in general. Having to come up with something for her to do, and then nobody offering to help. Ooh, yeah. That doesn't mean... Uh, Asuka glances back and forth, everyone with a worried expression. Look! Asuka goes over and puts her hands down to Yuri's shoulders. Yuri, you really are the most talented one here, and... and you're going to help make the event a lot more fun and welcoming. I mean, the cupcakes will probably help a lot, too. But you're going to make the atmosphere special. That would, that would be really important for the way that people feel during the performance, so... You need to stop being dumb and give yourself a little more credit. <laughs> uh, Nasuki certainly has a way of cheering people up. Dot dot dot. You didn't really mean that, did you? Um, not really, but you're isn't the only one surprised. <laughs> Nasuki will all feel if you're saying such a nice thing. But I understand, because Sawyer is not here to do it. She tried to take one of the bottles out of Sayuri's head. Dun, 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 dun. I'm sorry for being dumb. <laughs> I'm gonna do my best. And all of us are gonna make it a really good event. Yeah. Yeah. Hope these women doing the rest. But with that, there's nothing more for today. So I guess it's time for us to head up. Okay, but I'm sitting here a bit longer. I barely got to do any reading today, so fair enough. There's nothing wrong with that. We all pick up. And I start to follow Monica and Yuri at the door of the chat. But then. Aw, uh, yeah. Uh, where are you going? Uh, we still need to figure out our plans for this weekend. You literally would have got would have gone home and realized that you didn't even have a way to contact me. Oh, right. That's true. I'm a dumbass. I have no idea how that slipped my mind. Jeez. Good thing I stopped you. I'm giving you my number, okay? You better not make it weird or anything. Why would I do that? Hm. <laughs> not so yes, me your number. Okay. I'm coming over on Sunday. I'll bring all the ingredients. Wait. You're coming to my house? Well, yeah. What's wrong with that? I mean, I just figured that since I'm the one helping, I'd be going to your house. <laughs> yeah, right. I could have a guy over my house. My dad would kill me. Really? It's kind of strict, if you ask me. Yeah, how do you think I feel? <laughs> Can't do anything when my dad is home. Anyway, I just need to complain for a second. We have each other's numbers now. That's all I needed from you. That's the text you when I'm coming over. 
All right, that's fine with me. Yeah. I'm really going to show you why I love baking so much. So you better look forward to it. Oh, didn't you say you were going just going to give me the dirty work? Well, I was just saying that. It's not like I could act like in front of everyone that was looking forward to this. Wait, really? Well, kind of. Just because I never got to bake with someone else before. Because that's all it is, so... All right, I get it. Sorry for overreacting. Anyway, I'll be hoping out now. See you on Sunday. Uh, never mind. Oh, but I wanted to read with her more. I can't believe this. Natsuki's gonna be coming out of the house this night. Sorry. <clears throat> I just... My anxiety shoots to the roof. Even though I've gotten pretty used to handling her at this point. There's no telling what, what might end up happening when we're out of school. Sorry. I apologize. I'm just texting someone right now. <clears throat> I hate it when... I was... I really hate it when my... Uh, friend was doing this. Not skis. But I just, I just wanted to tell my friend, um, who introduced me to this game that I was currently streaming it, because I kind of forgot. <coughs> Oof. <sighs> More than that, she told me that she was looking forward to it. Is this the chance I had to make something happen between us? Yes. Or is it too early for that? I don't know. Only time would tell. But until then, I won't be able to take my mind off it. Seriously, can't wait. Sunday. 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 I'm getting increasingly anxious about it. Now, ski up and does it. I keep telling myself there's no reason to be nervous, but it doesn't help much. I wonder if she'll act any different when it's just the two of us. Meanwhile, she's been texting me a lot. We sent each other one out. We sent each other one after the. After sending numbers to the chat, but it turned into conversation. She's almost a different personality on the phone, using tons of emojis and cute language. Uh, I know that feeling. I know that feeling. She also really likes complaining about things, but I kind of saw that one coming. I'm putting Natsuki aside. I want her to think from sorry since she left the club early the other day. It's not like we text each other all the time or anything, but I've been worried about her in the back of my mind. Why didn't I go to hang out with her yesterday? What was I doing that was so important? Do what Sawyer said and what Monica said. Is it really okay for me to put Sawyer's feelings aside when she might need me? Time to go check out her visit. Check out her, her thing. So, coming over, go in. Do, do, do. House is quiet. She's, on, she's up in a room. Where I finally find her. Sorry. Hi. Sit down in her room. I think this is the same. Yeah, this is the same as before. <laughs> do, 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 do. Yeah, but she is helping from online. That's not good, Monica. Oh, it's such it's so sad. Are you listening to yourself right now? Uh, 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 you really put me in a trap. Nothing happened to me. I've always been like this. <laughs> She's just always been, always been depressed and sad. Ow. But why do you think I'm late to school every day? Because I can't get out of bed. You know, having had uh, depressed friends in high school and whatnot, I totally, totally understand this. Dun, 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 dun. Had a lot of emo friends. <laughs> it's okay though. People grow. Dun, dun, dun. Like that, is everything else. Spear through my heart. <clears throat> Excuse me. Weak and selfish lies. Doesn't hug me back, and then she cries. If 
festivals tomorrow. And we can spend it together if you, you know, we could just hang out. <laughs> nope, she doesn't want to get in the way. I know that feeling. All right, bye. Before I know it, she just going to let me know she's outside the front door. Dot, dot, oh, oh, look. It's, it's normal clothes. It's normal clothes Natsuki. <laughs> Sup. <laughs> Sorry, I don't, I don't actually picture her saying sup. I think of the, um, uh, there, there used to be this really old video. Um, I don't even know what you call them. Not like A and B hell things, but someone dubbed uh, the what's up thing to Evangelion when Shinji picks up the phone one and goes, what's up? And then like Gendo picks up on the next line like, what's up? It's great. Anyway, that's what I just thought of. <clears throat> so, hey, I don't know what I was expecting, but seeing Natsuki in something other than a school uniform totally throw me off, right? It's cute and she's got like a kitty cat on it. Seeing her in such cute clothes makes the uniform seem totally unfitting in comparison. Jeez, don't make it feel so awkward already. It'll be a long afternoon, so don't be worried just because you're not used to seeing me outside of school. Anyway, I'm coming in. Whoosh. Oh, look, it's my kitchen. I see, we got a lot of stuff. Natsuki's carrying a large bag that's probably full of baking supplies. Well, I didn't want to come all this way to find out that your kitchen is good for the job. But everything I asked you, right? Yeah, I did. Yesterday, I was asked me to buy a bunch of ingredients, so I didn't already have them all. Oh, okay. So that's why I didn't hang out with Sorry, because I was going around shopping. Although I could have totally invited her. But I'm just a terrible fucking friend. Good. Glad I could count on you to do your part. Well, of course. Surprised to hear Nowski suddenly say that rather than something snarky like she usually does. Could it be that she's a little different outside of school after all? Yes. Anyway, let's go to the kitchen. What? You're not going to offer to take this heavy bag from me? <laughs> Where's your hospitality? Come on. Since when did I need to be a gentleman? I grabbed the bag and Nowski held up to me. This is ridiculously heavy. <laughs> I carried that all the way here. Are you impressed? I see now. Yeah, I am impressed. It's like I always underestimate you. <laughs> it's because I'm so small, isn't it? You jerk. <laughs> it's a fist into it in my chest. Hey, hey. This so has nothing to do with it. I really hate being small that much. Eh? Um, it's not like I hate it. I mean, sometimes I prove people wrong when they only think I'm worth my size. I have friends like this. I have friends like this, and they're the worst. <laughs> uh people with things to prove Ugh, brings out the worst in people it's fun when i get to be small and also better than other people yep yep i'm getting flashbacks <laughs> uh one time i went um i went to the gym with my friend and gosh uh it's not word for word because it was obvious about something in the gym like exercise and whatnot but yeah she said stuff along these lines but Jeez, never mind. What are you making me say? Don't think you can make me talk about weird things just because we're not at school. We need starter. What? There's a lot of stuff I gotta teach you. <laughs> what? It's a little bit more like you. You're more fun when you just speak your mind like that. Hey, hey. Now you are treating me like a kid. I was just trying to be a little nicer, you know? And just because I, because I don't have a mature and sexy figure like Yuri doesn't mean you should treat me like uh, uh. I'll just catch the words in our face. That's right. That's okay, Natsuki. You don't need to be quote unquote mature to be liked. Not to get it. Say anything. <laughs> I should apologize. Yeah. Appreciate you trying to be nicer. I should have been a little more considerate too. But also, if that's what you're thinking, then you should know that there are tons of guys who are into your body types like yours. Uh, how would you know that anyway? <laughs> Just trust me on this one. Clearly, because currently my character is one of them. Gross. <laughs> hey. Is that to me? <laughs> who else? Man, let's just get started, buddy. <laughs> you get all sour when a girl calls you gross. Oh, duh. I finally found your weakness. <laughs> Please spare me. Uh, well, unless, unless he decides to dish out more insults like that, there's no way I'm not fighting back. But she's satisfied enough for now. Finally starts starting to pull things out of her bag so we can get started. For a long kitchen's a mess. Spoons, dirty bowls, flour, spilled fluids. 
and plastic bags are strewn above every countertop. The mixer isn't big enough to make all the batter at once, so we've had to do it several times. Meanwhile, Nansky is babysitting all my movements to make sure I don't mess up our precious baking. Monica, where did you put the food coloring? The batter's going in the oven soon, so I need to fill the trays. I think it's still in the bag next to the table. What are you using it for? To color the batter, of course. Oh, we're making multicolored cookies? Neat. I'm making each tray a different color. That way, even if flavors aren't different, everyone can still pick their favorite. Uh, that's a cute idea. Do you do anything like that with the icing? Do you want to? Uh, you asking me? I don't really have a preference, so come on. You're not putting any heart into this at all. Can't you at least try to have fun? I am having fun. I'm not really sure what Nelsky is trying to get out of me. Meanwhile, see so your supper the batter in smaller bowls, put a few drops of food on each. Uh, that does look pretty cool. See? It's not like baking is just about following instructions. Presentations where you get to be creative and have the most fun. It's a million times more worth it in the end if you just if just looking at it makes everyone's eyes lighten up. Like the ones you made on my first day, huh? The cat-shaped cupcakes. I wonder if I can make Nasky proud like that too. Gee, I hope so. Sounds like you're starting to understand. Just make sure you completely finish mixing the icing before you mess with the food coloring. Yeah, it's getting there. Ah. Okay. The icing's still all lumpy. Are you even trying? Well, yeah, just take a little longer. Jeez, it'll be hard night if you do it like that. Here, look. Let's kind of use my other hand to the bowl back. You really need to beat the crap out of it. <laughs> See? So. Hey! <laughs> I don't want your gross fingers in my icing. <laughs> your icing, yeah? You're painting who did all the work. <laughs> don't make me beat the crap out of you next. I would like to see you try. <laughs> uh, this this is just bringing back tons of memories. Um, I used to do something similar like this with my friend Rachel. Um, where like we'd try to poke each other during class. So it was like a history class with that. Because we sat next to each other. She'd always end up grabbing my finger and then holding it while I tried to poke her. And we'd do that for as long as we could without the teacher noticing, basically. It was fun. I triumphantly scooped some of on my finger just as Nelsky tugs with all her might. Ah! The force Nelsky playing me causes me to make me to stumble, making her stumble in turn. Gross! You got it on my face. Whose fault is that? Big blob of icing on Nelsky's cheek. Mmm. She has to reach it with her tongue, but it's too far away. Jeez. You know what? Take this. Nelsky instead of wipes it off with her fingers, we're shoving her finger towards my own face. You wish. I'm faster. I grab her wrist with my hand before it reaches my face. Nelsky tries to use her other hand to fight back, but I grab that one as well. Where's the bowl? Is the bowl of icing set down somewhere already? <laughs> oh, look how happy she is. Not until you apologize for calling me gross. I'm sorry for calling you gross. <laughs> no, I don't mean it. This is some senior react to it. You do that to me all the time, you know? Saying dumb things just to get a reaction on me. You really shouldn't tease girls like that. That's so. Uh, in that case, probably shouldn't do this either. Take Nasky's finger and put it in my mouth. Like, oh shit. Things just escalated. What? What? Did you seriously just... Ah. Uh. <laughs> Her face is entirely red. Oh yeah. You really shouldn't do that kind of thing to girls unless you really like them. You know that, right? What kind of question she asked me just like that. Uh, it's because I do like you. I know it's good as me, it sounds. I know it's shallow breath. Why am I starting to feel dizzy? Because all the blood has just rushed out of my head. That's it. <laughs> I don't know, we... Okay, so that's how we're getting out of this, out of this situation. I'll see rush over the oven. Something burning. <laughs> thought you didn't put the cupcakes in yet. <laughs> no wonder. You left a dirty train here, dummy. Uh... My disgusting grossness has ruined the moment. Should have checked before turning the oven. Don't blame me for your mistakes. Jeez. Use an oven to grab the black and tray out of the oven. Sits on top of the stove. In another moment, the fire alarm stops. Anyway, I'm putting them in the oven now. Yeah. Aw. The moment has already been lost. Sad. Oh, he said, so big trays in the oven. I reluctantly pick up the whisk and continue with the ice and nothing ever happened. Drat. 
Ah, uh, it smells so cute. Cookies are already be part of them. I made cookies recently. Last week. Last week I made cookies. And it did sound good. This is kind of making me want to bake, <laughs> in all honesty. <laughs> look at how cute they all look. Probably shows off the different colored cupcakes in each of the trays. They look even better once we add the icing. Not like you need me to tell you that. I brought decorating stuff so we can get creative. Here, scoop the icing in these bags. No skin hands, these blast bags. Ah, oh, this all just, also just remember me. Uh, also just made me remember um, last year when my friend invited me to make cookies for Christmas and stuff. It was, it was similar ish. This one can even make flowers. Sands the flirting. We probably won't be using it this time though. What's this one for? I one of the notes that's much thinner tip than the others. That one's really thin, so you can use it to make stripes or other patterns. Now she's the right stuff on a cake, like Happy Birthday! Tanjobi! Omadetto! Omadetto! Or is it Omadetto? Was it the first? I can't remember. I think it's Tanjobi. No, Omadetto the famous. Omadetto. Oh, anyway. <laughs> ah, I see. Gives me an idea, actually. Eh? Well, it's a literature event, right? We could make it more literature themed by writing a different word on each of the cupcakes. It'd be fun to see people choosing their cupcakes based on a word they like. Ooh. Hmm? I was kind of expecting you to say something really stupid, but that's actually a really cute idea, so. <laughs> I didn't get any from you. What's that supposed to mean? I'm not cute. Yes. Yes, you. Come on. We're out of school. Nobody's judging. You can't dress after this, and I'm not expecting you to think you're cute. Well, oh, his voice shows off. Same with you. Eh? Did you say something? No, nothing. Let's just do the icing. Oh, she called me cute. Nasty pushed the pace and fastens all into the bags. There's a lot to do, so we shouldn't be wasting time. Here, I'll show you how to do it. So we had to apply the icing, then we each get to work. Then we're finally finished. Nasty puts them all side by side tomorrow. Look at how pretty they are together. Yeah, they are. Wish I could have one now. Well, there's no reason you can't, right? I didn't see any harm in that. Oh well, yeah, but my dad's making dinner tonight, so I really need to save my appetite. <laughs> so you're the exact opposite in that regard. If she was here, we'd probably be down 10 cupcakes already. And she has to eat dinner. Come on, that's just unhealthy. Besides, when my dad cooks, I need to eat as much of it as I can. Well, anyway. Something we'd have all the time. We have time for me, but I need to be home for dinner. Aw, already, that's a shame. It's your fault for working so slowly. Should have thought about that. It's not like you always had this chance. Man. You can bring the cupcakes tomorrow, right? If you and Cyrus carry some, each carries something you can probably do in one trip. Yeah, I, I can do that. And don't worry, I won't let her eat any. <laughs> I wish she would listen to me the way she listens to you. Ah, uh, yeah. So does this mean that I'm gonna... Am I gonna get to the school festival before or after seeing Suri die? Huh, I wonder if it'll be different. Because with Yuri's are out, she, I get to school first. And then I go back. I mean, it's probably going to be the same thing. Okay, I'm all packed up. Good work today. You too. Walk you out, I guess. Just like that. And Asuka's about to leave. Feels like the afternoon buying flash. More than that. They even take the, uh, we need it closer like I wanted. Yes. Well, I guess I'll be off then. Thanks for all the help and everything. See you tomorrow. Wait, Natsuki. Eh? What did you say before about not always having... It doesn't have to be that way at all. I had fun today, and you showed me how fun baking would be like you wanted. But aside from that, you can come over anytime, okay? I think that if possible, I'd like to spend more time like this. If you want to read manga or go out somewhere. Um, do you really mean that? No, she looks at me tensely as she's trying to hide her expression. Yeah, I want to spend more time with you. Monica, I you only cared about getting this done. Ugh. I'm sorry I had to leave so early today. I really didn't want to. I would really stay here longer if I could. I feel the same way as you, so. Natsuki gets close to me. Wait, Natsuki. What? Oh, just a random freaking Twitter thing. Standing inches from me, Natsuki looks at me. I feel my like fingers gently clutching at the sides of my shirt. I've hold up. Rose colored cheeks and matching eyes from a vision along with her slightly parted lips. What is happening? Here we are, being dizzy again. I felt it. I can feel it. Calling in the air tonight. Oh Lord. 
Oh, so he jumps back because crazy face Sayori has appeared. Uh, hi. Oh wait. <laughs> Simon. <laughs> I don't think these I don't think the Steam notifications show up on, on the stream. But my friend who I made play the dokies and I'm like emotionally scarred him <laughs> just messaged me. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's not we weren't yeah it's okay i just thought i'd say hi uh well you should have come a little earlier i get my way out so oh really that's too bad yeah well i'll stay i'll see you at the festival Just don't eat any cupcakes for them. Anyway, later. Whoosh! Sorry, I thought you didn't want to come over today. Ah, uh, well, I tried to stay in my room, but my imagination was really mean to me, so I had to come and see it for myself. What are you talking about? You know, how much fun you're having with Natsuki and how close you got to it. I wonder if Sorry was just like creeping and looking through the window. But I suppose not. Oh no, this is the part where Sorry cries. It's so sad. Everything hurts so much. I should just... Yeah, Monica's a fucking bitch. She's telling Sarah to kill herself over, over her online-ness. Okay, but pretty soon I gotta... I gotta say whether I love her or what. She's scared uh, that you like my hair than me this week. Do, do, do. She likes me so much that she wants to die. It's true. Um, this, I don't, this doesn't actually change anything, I'm pretty sure. I, I wonder if it changes anything for, uh, like, if I was, um, if I was trying to do her route, so to speak. I don't know, sorry, my, I'm adjusting my glasses because one of my screws is loose. You always be my dearest friend. Uh -huh. So if you're supposed to get stabbed in the chest, I should write a poem about it. It's okay. I just need to scream. She finally breaks, drops to her knees, screams her heads off, and then says, okay, bye. Why am I feeling so horrible about this? Because your best friend was just crying horribly. Okay, day of the festival. So now this is my question of, do I go? Sorry, should I answer your phone? It's too much. Okay, so I carried them all by myself. Okay, so it is going to be the same. Now he's already texting up a storm, but I can't respond thanks to my hands being full. Funnily enough, I probably feel the same way as Natsuki about the event. I'm more excited for it to be over so I can spend time with everyone. Da, da, da. Monica, you're the first one here. Thanks for being early. That's funny. And then, yeah, same thing. I'm surprised you didn't bring Sari with you. Yeah, she was up again, that dummy. Do you think that on this day I should try a little harder? Sit, but then I remember what she said yesterday, and suddenly I feel awful. Maybe it's gonna work. Uh -huh. You should take a little responsibility for her. I mean, especially after the exchange she had with her yesterday. You kind of left her hanging this morning, you know? <laughs> but dumb tish. Uh, I wish that I could, uh, I wish that I could send, um, uh, images over, 
over Steam chat. <laughs> because I'm the club president after all. It's funny because the club president always knows everything. That's the thing. Jeez. You know, you don't know the full story at all, so don't worry. You probably know a lot more than you think. Sorry, I <clears throat> Sorry, I had to. Ah, no, still happening. I have like a smudge on my glasses, and it's really, really annoying. So, sorry. Just one moment, please. Ah. Hey, do you want to check out the pamphlets? They come out really nice. All right, there we go, that beautiful poem. All oh, get on my heads. I changed my mind, I'm gonna go get Sayori. Okay, try not to take too long. Don't string yourself. And now I'm rushing. It's time for Sayonara, Sayonara, Sayori. I'm gonna tell my friend that I'm about to hang out with Sayori. <laughs> Wake up, dummy. And then I open the door, and there she is. Ah, oh. it always gets me. It always gets me to jump a little bit. Just because the, um, the, the, like, the bass drop is so well done there. An exception has occurred. See traceback.txt for details. Bum, 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 Do, do, do. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. Oh, I do like that song. Fiend. And there we go. We have successfully <laughs> Okay. Um so my friend uh, wants to play some VR chat. So I'm gonna, um, this is a good stopping point for this. So I'm gonna stop this game. Um, I'm gonna stop this game and I'm gonna load up VR chat. Or sorry, yeah, yeah, I'm gonna load up VR chat. So just, just one moment. The best part, though, <laughs> is that uh, um, I have a model of Sayori that I'm going to use when I play with my friend, and it's going to fucking break him. It'll be great. I'll, I'll, I'll stream this too. So let me just stop this one so I can uh, swap everything around. So I'll be right back. 